good morning, you crazy people joining us here so early today. Hello, Mary Cab, BB Cakes, Michelle, Blondie, Callie, Ambinator, Miss OMG, Jasmine, Jelly Bean. <laughs> it's early today, guys. Trailer Park Barbie, hello, Gabby, Angel Wings, uh, Plain Tane, Sweetie. <laughs> you like the thumbnail? Thank you so much. Love Bug, Michelle, Bean Cake, Amy P. Uh, damn it, Patrice, Dilly Dilly. I, you know, I figured Seattle Baddie, hello, welcome. I always thought of it as hip hop. Chatty Kathy, what you talking about there? Lisa Lisa, hello. Wow, I'm shocked so many of you guys are here today. It's a little low. How about now? How about now? Quentin, hello. <laughs> Nutties in the shade. My kids still wake up weekend or not mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how old is your kids mary cab you got little ones hey Lindsay, that's Lindsay with today did you have a good birthday yesterday never mind i just need to turn myself up see tracy now i'm gonna be blowing out people's ears <laughs> chantel's money i'm dead <laughs> look at my body look 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 at my body look 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 at my body hey jennifer brown good morning sometimes it snows in april hello why are we up so early on a Saturday? Well, I, for one, get up early every day just because I'm used to it now. And Samantha had to go to work. So there was a lot that went on yesterday. Yes, yes. So we knew we had to cover that. I knew it was going to happen, right? Chantel can only be quiet for so long. And when she's quiet, it's usually a big blow up after that, right? Big blow out, whatever you want to call it. Buttered crumpet, hello. Hey, cool cat court. Mine is two, and I keep a one-year-old three days Oh, pray, Thoughts and prayers for you, <laughs> Mary Cab. Look, I miss my kids being little, but I'm happy those days are over, okay? They're cute. They're sweet. They're lovable. They're everything you think they're going to be. But, man, when you actually get them up where they can wipe their own ass and dress themselves, it's a good thing. Hello, Fit and Curvy. Good morning. <laughs> Early bird gets the sugar kitty. And let me, like, speaking of sugar cookies latte, okay? <laughs> hey Vaca Lullaby, good morning Happy Saturday, happy Saturday everybody It's official, five days until Thanksgiving, okay Five days until our official holiday people Hello Rose Petals Well, if you're, you know, anywhere but the Canada, Canada's, right? Right? I'm assuming everywhere else, I mean, I'm not that intelligent I'm assuming a lot of other countries celebrate Thanksgiving But what do I know? I'm run right ragged Mm-hmm. I know. I remember those days. <laughs> Shut up, Sam. Nobody asked you. Don't find yourself in timeout. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Your son is six. Six is a good age. Okay, yeah. Uh, the sugar cookie lattes from Starbucks, uh, in my opinion, sucks, right? But that's not what I'm talking about. So yesterday, I was telling Sam, I was like, they got that peppermint... <sighs> it's fat shit, y'all. It is what it is. I said, I see you have a side chick is up all night, sleep all day kind of kind of girl. <laughs> kind of girl, huh? Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. It's so early, but I'm here. Got to get that support. Thank you for showing up, showing out, okay? Look at my body. Just for you, Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine, okay? Look, 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 look at my body. As a fatty, I can't wait to eat on Thanksgiving. Me too. So listen. I was telling Sam, I was like, McDonald's has got, got that new, hey, Joda, peppermint mocha uh, iced coffee. We got to go try it. So we get up. We wake up, dude. It was like, what time we get up this morning, Sam? 4.30? It was ridiculous. It was early. And she was like, let's go get that. Or maybe I said it. I don't know. One of us fatties uh, suggested to the other fatty that we go to McDonald's and we get that uh, peppermint uh, coffee, right? So we pull up to the McDonald's and order this coffee and they hand it to us. And it's one of those coffees with the uh, whipped cream and everything. It wasn't no coffee. That's like a milkshake. Okay. 430. Yeah, it was like a dessert. So yeah, that was way too much sugar. First thing in the morning. That's a no. They're good. They're very good. Of course, they're good. It's like if I could describe it, the best way I could describe it to you people. It's like those Andes candies melt it down into like a coffee with whipped cream on top. Okay. So I'm going through a bit of a um, sugar crash at the moment. <laughs> You're a fatty at heart, Jessica. It's totally fine. I'll be at work on Thanksgiving, but at least I get holiday pay. That holiday pay is sweet, though. 
Early bird fatties. 450, but I'm here too. Milkshakes in the morning. It was good vodka lullaby, but they have a lot of sugar. We were just expecting like the iced coffee with the peppermint flavor, but no, it was the whole thing, okay? My kids are part First Nations. My oldest son is trying to get us not to celebrate Thanksgiving. He's only converted me to his side so far. Oh, well, I guess you give and give a, give and get a little on that, right? Only USA and Canada, Canada celebrate Thanksgiving, man. Oh, thank you so much for that information. Well, us Americans are excited about the Thanksgiving on Thursday, okay? A Val gal, so cute, and she looks like... I'm a real man. <laughs> if Sam Telfer and the YouTube Underground had a kid. Jasmine, I've seen that tweet. That's so funny. You work every Thanksgiving, and yes, holiday pay is nice. It's very nice. Because, I mean, honestly, like, Thanksgiving's not a day unless you got to cook. But if you're one of those lucky sons of bitches that just go pull up to a relative's house and grab a plate, it's not an all-day uh, ordeal, right? So you could work and then get you a plate afterwards, right? Some of you fatties, I know, are pulling into three or four relatives' house to get a plate. I know. I know. I'll be peeping. I got a 15-pound turkey. May not be enough for this fatty. I like to get the biggest turkey so we can have leftovers for a few days. You can make so much shit with the turkey. Okay, guys, got to punch in, but I'm listening, so you watch your asses. Have a good day, Sam. <laughs> hey, Miss uh, Dorky. I stay all day. Well, I mean, some people do, but, you know, I'm just saying for, like, the people who have to, I'm trying to make the people who have to work feel better, BB Cakes, okay? Read the room. <laughs> yep, Sam's on Saturday pay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a fatty that will be cooking. I will always cook. I've been cooking for 13 years now. I love it. Good morning, Korea has a Thanksgiving as well. Do everyone has a great thing? I hope everyone has a Thanksgiving. I'm cooking a big meal at my house. Winnie, thank you so much for the super chat. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to be talking about it for the next five days, okay, until it's finally here. <laughs> Pinky, thank you for the super sticker. I'm never hungry after cooking. That's the curse of the cookers, okay? <laughs> Hello. God, Chantel, knock it off. Hello, Polly B. Okay, mama's gone. Everybody go wild. Order a 24-pound turkey and a 10-pound. Uh, excuse me, Dilly. Did you not get the message that we don't uh, speak about, talk about ham on Thanksgiving around here? I love cooking. I think it's great on Thanksgiving. It's a good time. Just because I, the main reason that I like to cook on Thanksgiving is because I remember being young and I live with my grandma and like the just, of course, you know, I've always like being fat is not a new thing for me. Okay. I was born big bitches singing some Thanksgiving carols. I remember like the smells and just the noise of my grandma cooking every year. Like that will forever be engraved in my brain. So I try to pass on those memories to my children you know, even they're, even though they are not obese, I feel like they still appreciate it the way I did. At least I think they will in about 10 years. You don't appreciate it when you're young. But as you get older, you like, you're like, damn, like I miss that, you know? Yes, but ham, ham, uh, ham is for Christmas. We're not talking about it. Let's talk about Chantel, okay? It was a whole ordeal yesterday. We boiled the neck at like 4 a.m., <laughs> yes ham on easter and prime rib on christmas yep totally fine we've done ribs on christmas yes lisa lisa i think so i know they don't get it now but they will in the future and that's all that matters right so when i'm dead and gone they got a way to remember their fat mom <laughs> ham is for easter i can agree with that okay totally fine i cook ham and turkey and green greens backed macaroni and cheese dressing candy yams mashed potatoes and sweet potato pies mm, i agree with everything but the ham I'm not gonna budge on the ham people ham is for every occasion in the south disagree callie disagree i haven't seen what happened with chantelle yesterday my god vodka lullaby where were you you must have been completely logged off the internet okay what kind of noises she makes while cooking look at my buddy what are you talking about a full review. Look, I can only give you guys what I got to see and what we are able to watch in this stream because they went for a long time, hours to each of them. Right? There's a lot to cover. 
I don't know if we should start with Chantel's video because she was radio silent all day yesterday, right? All day, day before. And then she posts a video titled, let me pull it up. Hold on. I've got other shit pulled up too, people. So calm down. So she started out by posting an eight minute, eight minute and 58 second video titled trying to leave a toxic relationship. Bitch, what are you talking about, Chantel? How in the world do you leave a relationship you're not even in? I don't, and I'm literally, I'm, I'm not trying to shame her or degrade her. And I just don't understand this dude is telling you that y'all ain't in a relationship, that you're just friends or whatever. Basically, you're his employee. But in your mind, and, and here's the thing, like she's got all these people in her chat, t you know, telling her this crazy shit, like go to shelters, there's a uh, domestic violence support shelters and shit in her area. Are y'all, what, what is wrong with you people? She's not even in a, how can the hell can you be in a relationship, be in a toxic relationship if you ain't in a relationship? Y'all ain't telling her what she needs to hear. She needs inpatient care. She needs somebody to help her get a grip on reality. Yes, Amber, live, laugh, life's a shelter. She's not with him, okay? They're not in a relationship. Hey, Original Al. She's having a problem with understanding that this man doesn't want her. That she's doing so much for this guy that she cannot even buy him. She tried, she's tried for six months. Trace your little one's hands and yours and cut out and glue to the cardstock. Then frame, you can write family in the middle. Then frame, oh, Claudia, that would be cute. That's what she needs. She doesn't need help because she can't leave a domestic relation, domestic violence relationship. She needs somebody to tell her what she really needs to hear. And what she really needs to hear is that this man don't want you. He's told you he don't want you. There's no amount of money that it's going to take to buy this dude. He can't be bought. You can buy his friendship, but he's dead set on not being your man. She's seriously delusional and so is her chat. I mean, some now I'm not going to say they're all saying the same thing, but a lot of them, even in the comments, it's complete delusion on all sides, man. She's honestly giving us single fatties a bad name. And I've been saying that from day one. Every stereotype about fat people, and that's what we all say. It's Chantel. Raven Star, welcome to the official support group. Thank you so much for joining. We do appreciate you. Everything. Fat, dirty, smelly, desperate, lazy. We got a lot of fatties in the chat, okay? And a lot of us don't fit those stereotypes. But here Chantel is parading it around on the internet, giving us all a bad name. You know, it was one thing, Chantel, when you got on here and you ate yourself to death, right? Okay? And you let us know how dirty your house was. I mean, you already made us look bad enough. And then you had to go add this man in the picture and be full. Max, every morning, dude, you got to show your ass. Yes, hello. How are you? You okay? Asshole. She makes fat people look nuts. Mm-hmm. In a couple weeks, she's going to be giving bald bitches a bad name. I'm dead. Hey, Bless. Good morning. Good to see you around. No. Okay. A lot of us are fatties with jobs uh, that can bathe and wash properly daily. Our houses aren't, you know, a mess. Dirty. Disgusting. Paul is very good. Thank you so much for asking BB Cakes. Peb's mom, welcome to the official support group. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. Hey, <laughs> good morning, Max. He's got to get his morning attention. She looks homeless now. Well, she doesn't wash herself. She doesn't shower. And I think a big part of the reason that she doesn't shower is because that um, bathtub is clogged. I can hear Sham say, Sam shaking her head saying, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, Callie, me too. No, he better not get in that sink. He better not. So anyways, do you all want to watch the actual video that she posted about her? Let's just watch it. We might as well, okay? 
We're not going to be here for a long time today. At least that's the plan because I do have some stuff to do. Dude, I got to finish my Thanksgiving shopping. Okay? Hi, oh, guys. Shut up, Chantel. I'm not done talking about myself. <laughs> we'll get to you. It's a whole thing. I got to get the rest. We secured the turkey, but that's just one of many items that must be purchased. Okay? It's going to be a madhouse out there. All I know is they better have the kind of stuffing I like to use. What kind of stuffing? Do y'all use that freaking stove top? I like the kind that comes in the bag. Stuffing's got to be my favorite, man. I'm a car beater. I can't help it. That will be the death of me. Because she's lazy, lazy, lazy. Oh, her flushing her litter is probably the clog issue. Passionate and opinionated. I agree. That's what I was saying yesterday about her uh, flushing the litter. Need to go to the market, too. Anyways, let's, let's get to, let's get to, shall we? I know it's been so long since I've done a video, recorded video, that this is weird um it's not gonna be a long video actually i just want to and by the way she titled the video trying to leave a toxic relationship go ahead and tell us about the toxic relationship that you're not in but you're trying to leave yes psycho you have been worried about me and rightfully so i have given you lots of reasons to worry over and over and the uh, only thing that people need to be concerned with hey tattoo my toes hello the only thing that you need to be worried about with Chantel is that she's a nutter. Yes, she flushes her litter. She has that pretty kitty litter, and I guess they say you can flush it down the toilet, and that shit ain't true. Anywho, is that she's a nutter. This girl needs inpatient care. There's no relationship that she's in. Okay? I'm talking about people worrying about her. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not okay. I'm working on it. Uh, I just wanted to, I guess, talk a bit about the elephant in the room. I'm still going through everything and still processing the past six months and, uh, you know, just grieving two deaths, my grandmother and um, our cat to admit, and I haven't allowed myself to do that. Why is she only grieving her grandmother and the cat when she has a fallout with Nodder? Honest question. I know there's a lot of people, hey, Rhea, that defend Chantel when it comes to her grieving her grandmother and her cat. But my only question is, why is, is the only time that she wants to do that or talk about that when she's falling out with her friend, Nodder? That's what I don't get. Um, I've always lived my life very publicly and open, and I've done that recently with this relationship. I've been in a very toxic relationship, and I won't go into everything that has happened in this relationship. There's been a lot of hurt, um, a lot of stress, and a lot of inequality. See, this is the thing. We're never going to get through this damn video. The reason why she's stressed, the main number one reason why Chantel is stressed is because she can't get this guy to commit to her. That's where the stress is coming from. I've done hours of live streams crying about things and just being a mess. So I'm sure you've all seen those. If not, they're there to watch. So I can't bring myself to watch them. So I don't know how you guys can, but you do. I just also want you to know really, really sincerely that I appreciate all the support. I don't always show it. Um... I do let my anger get the best of me a lot of the time. I'm a very impulsive person. I've lived my pretty much my whole life just acting based on how I'm feeling at the time. And that has gotten me into the mess I'm in now. Right now, I'm trying to stay away. I know a lot of people don't think so, but I do have a therapist that I do talk to very closely. And they're very helpful. Um, talking to you guys, like I said, is always a great escape. I just haven't felt like going live lately, to be honest. I've created just a lot of backlash for myself with the whole back and forth. And I know a lot of you don't get, you know, are screaming at me literally in caps lock like the red flags i'm worried for you um, this is not a good relationship and i think deep deep down i know that but i'm a caring person it feels weird complimenting myself in any way actually i'm just gonna say that but i am because being part of the reason i keep going back is because i can't stand thinking that he's struggling or not doing well or upset and that brings me to the point that i realize that this i can't be in a relationship with this person because it's an unequal relationship it's very ha um chantel he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. What are you talking about? You're acting like you're the one that's making this decision. You don't make sense. <clears throat> draining for me in every way, um, emotionally, uh, just every way. And I just, I have, have to at some point ask myself, really, am I getting equally into from this relationship what I'm putting in? And the answer is no. He thinks it is, but I don't know if he really believes that. If he does, then that's even more proof that I... I can't be with somebody that lacks that level of self-awareness and I lack my own self-awareness and I have so much work to do on myself that taking care of the emotional every just everything needs completely emotional financial everything of a person has just been so hey, hard on me 
and just him being so upset if I need an extra few hours, like, I just realized that a part of me really, really wants to just run back and be comforted by the same person who hurt me over and over. And I'm relying on the maybe 13% of self-worth and love I have for myself to do what's best for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do, and I'm still going through it right now. I'm still struggling, I'm still it's just, I thank you for all your kind messages and caring concern. Having somebody like care about you, actually care about you is actually a really big gift. And I feel like I take it for granted a lot. I know that I have to go through this short period of pain Half star. to get through it and just move on and, and see what, what else is out there for me. Because staying in a relationship that is not good for you is not it. Uh, this video is not to address anything. Here's the problem with Chantel. <laughs> Chantel wants a certain type of guy. And she's not going to be happy in a relationship unless she has that type of guy. And that type of guy is not her. And you see what that type of guy is going to... He doesn't want anything to do with you. All he wants is what you will do for him, Chantel. So you keep talking about how you're going to try to start looking again, start dating again, unless you're willing. And this is not me saying that Nodder, you know, is some kind of catch because obviously he's not. But she likes the fact, number one, that he's, I guess, fit. Okay. He's not super skinny. He's not fat. He's just, he's a fit guy. Probably he's just naturally built that way. Right. He's kind of like manly. He's the, you know, he's the, what's the word for it? She likes that. It's complete. It's completely opposite of what BB and Pete's are. And even though he's a bum, to her that is a catch. So when she goes out here and she starts this whole process over that we've just been through in the last six months, it's going to be if she can snag another man like that, okay? Look, I'm a buddy. An alpha, exactly. It's going to be the same thing in repeat. I genuinely think this is just her trying to change things up to keep interest. Dueling lies will be the new normal for a bit. Mary, you, there's a lot of scenarios. Thank, thank you for your opinion. Look, there's a lot of scenarios that could be happening right now. We honestly do not know the truth behind these videos, behind these live streams, okay? I'm a real man. We don't. Some people think it's fake. Some people think it's scripted. Some people, like you said, just, you know, trying to do anything to keep the views pouring in, the dueling <laughs> live streams. Um, but we can only take it for what it is, okay? We're going to drive ourselves insane trying to actually figure out what is going on. So we kind of just have to stick with what Chantel and Nodder are presenting us, okay? <laughs> I'm a survivor of DV. She chooses to go back. She has her own home, her own source of income. I had nothing when I walked out. Tracy Kelly, I 100% agree. Thank you so much for super chat. I agree. And they don't have kids together. And he's telling her that he doesn't want a relationship. It just does not make sense for her to say it and for people in her chat to say it instead of saying, Chantel, get a grip. This guy, you're not in a relationship. You need serious help. I just started a job as a teen rehab center and I'm in the <laughs> middle of a master's degree. Super stressed. Your live streams calm me down. Oh, Peachy Anna, thank you so much for the super chat and good luck. That sounds like fun, honestly. And it's rewarding. So good luck with that. Pete's has no standards. Mm hmm. But the point being, she's, we're just going to, if she finds somebody else, it's going to be a repeat any rumors any accusations or anything like that it's just to update you and let you know what i'm going through right now in this moment i do want to go live at some point maybe tonight i'm gonna to see how i feel it's just all the voices um even though i love seeing you guys and i miss you guys like crazy it's just a lot sometimes and yeah so and people ask me what is this big hold that he has over you and it's just like at this point it's just familiar and it's just um there i mean there were a lot of good times like you know toronto and and just as a food addict, having somebody, like, cook for you every meal and, like, make it real. You hate his food. That doesn't even make sense. You literally do not like his food. As soon as you leave his house, you will go buy McDonald's. Please upload a sound clip of Pinocchio saying, I'm a real boy. <laughs> food is just... It's, 
or just having someone make you laugh. Like, there's a lot of good things I liked, but then there was this dark side that it's just, I could feel myself like just like retreating and retreating myself more and more to the point where I don't want to be like an empty shell of myself just to make someone else happy. And I, you know, I realize that like I'm making myself unhappy to make someone else happy. And that's just ridiculous. And uh, a lot of people will, will ask, you know, why? Hey, Marie. Are you so upset over this man who's, you know, it's, it's so toxic? Hello. And why are you so upset? Why do you keep going back? And it's just like, I wish, I don't know how to make people. I hope those people that tell her that he is toxic are also saying that Chantel, you yourself are toxic. Chantel is also toxic. They are both toxic. I understand. Like, I don't have an off switch. I don't have an off switch. So even though this person is toxic for me, has hurt me, whatever, I don't have an off switch. I can't just turn my feelings off. You know, it takes time. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. You stole my heart. That's so weird. You were only gone for one day. You would think this bitch was gone for like a week. Is it Chubby's birthday? Chubby Bear, is it your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Everybody give Chubby Bear some love in the chat. I hope that's the right person. <laughs> he always laughs before he finishes his sentences. So how funny can he be? Um, he seems pretty crazy to me. Anyways, we'll continue. We have somebody. So Nodder took down his stream from last night, which was interesting that he's actually took it down, which to me says that um, you, you took it down for Chantel because you said some pretty nasty things about Chantel in that stream, didn't you, Nodder? Mm -hmm. So why would you take that down, huh? Oh, I know. Because uh, you want Chantel to come over and still uh, finance your lifestyle, right? We get it. You don't like Chantel. You think she's dirty. You think she stinks. She is, and she is, right? You talk about how she's going to get the cockroaches in her house because of all the cardboard. Bitch, we've been saying that, Nodder. Are you new to the game? Huh? You talk about all this shit about this woman, right? But you're the one that was in the one-week relationship with her. So who really looks like the clown? Payday's tomorrow. Well, she'll get it probably uh, Tuesday, I'd say. He went on a rant about, I don't care about the rant about May. I don't care nothing about that situation. Who's the real clown here? Right? Who, who who even thought that we'd see the day when somebody would out clown Chantel? We are on round 974. Get it right, hunty. <laughs> You're right, Brant. We probably are. I tried. Kenzie got it. I didn't see Kenzie's upload. Hold on. I seen this one from a channel called Obviously. Let me check Kenzie. She probably got, she's probably working on it, guys. Let's not stress her out. She'll have it up today. I'm sure all the clip channels... Let's not. It's a lot. Honestly, yesterday was a lot. So it's probably just not up yet. Yeah, it's not. You know, she, the girl probably needed some rest. That's a lot to listen to, especially to listen to the whole thing and take it in and cut it up and re-upload it for you guys. They'll have it up eventually, probably later on this afternoon. Don't forget his family is now watching his channel. His bro brother probably told him to stop embarrassing them. Mm -mm -mm. So we got two families. We got Chantel's family. We got Nodder's family, right? And they both know that their kids are clowns on the internet. Didn't May's daughter come forward and confirm that May was a, yeah, big, bitterful me. And she took her channel down because I guess she had a channel from a while back where she talked about her relationship with her mom. And once that, you know, all that came around, she took it down. Guess he's not a... a Kiwi Farms have been, you know, kind of low-key here lately. I went over there this morning to read. I was like, okay, well, let's go see what uh, Kiwi Farms are over there talking about. No, they ain't really, mm, they ain't a whole lot going on over there. Oh, Kenzie, you just put it out? Okay, you poor thing. Hold on. Let me reload. Hold on. DM me the link, because for whatever reason, the last one I have is deleted uh, live stream uh, from 11.17. I don't know. It's not showing up for me. Let me pull up my my Twitters. Hold on, guys. Talk amongst yourselves, please. We're trying to get this shit show together. It's because we're so early. That's what it is. Nisi, you're crazy. I don't believe that. What you said in the DMs. No way. No way, no how. He thinks he is the Arabic chef. Fucking Ramsey. <laughs> Cooking rage. 
It's up. How come I can't see it? Yes, Kenzie. Thank you. That dude, all that is so much work. A lot of stuff goes into BP tat these days and not her thread. What's BP? What the fuck's BP? Big beautiful me. No, she had a channel talking about her narcissist mother. Okay, yes, yes. No, it's big <laughs> it's big bitterful me. <laughs> One minute ago. Okay, let me try to refresh. No, bitches, why ain't it showing up for me? What the hell? That's weird. I'm on the right channel. Okay, hold on. I got the link. Is it public? Hmm. Maybe because, yeah, it even says no views. Did you put this on public? Maybe it's just going to take a second because you just put it out. Okay, anyways. Another toxic dual live featuring Foodie Beauty and Nodder, his deleted live, three in one highlights. Wow. Impressive. Hold on. Oh, you've even got her in here too. Well, look at you go, girl. Okay, let me get your link real quick so we can get everybody to go sub up your channel. Because I'm telling you people... If you're following the Foodie Beauties and the Nodders, El Shamis, uh, when they go like this, uh, you can't spend. I mean, who can? It's almost impossible. So you miss out on what's happening. You can't watch her three-hour live stream. Go watch his three-hour live stream. By the time you've done all that, you don't even, there's a whole new scenario going on. So go sub up our girl. She's the pinned comment at the top of the page. Hey, Corbin. Sup. Sup, dude. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me pop it out. Let's see. BP is the chat in the Kiwi farm. See, I don't ever look at the chat in the Kiwi farms. I don't like that. Skip to the 8 minute and 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got that video in here too? Okay, hold on. All right, yeah, we'll get through that because we just watched it. Okay, here we go. Even got timestamps, y'all. It don't get no better than that. Yes, please, let's get Kenzie to 1,000 subs, people. She's really close. Give the stream a like. Thumbs up, please, people. Your brain would fry at the end of this shit. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Don't stress out our girls if they need a day off, okay? They got to take a time to breathe. An important question here. Has anyone used an electric cooker to roast turkey? Are you talking about one of those ones to set on your counter, Judy, Judy, Judy? That's what I use every year. I don't use my oven because I use my oven to cook pies and stuff, okay? And my sweet potato casserole. Hey, D. Higgins. Hello. Thank you guys for subbing her up first chat for me all because I need to know what live your frog thing was on um Corbin I really honestly don't remember I think it was on one of the ones where it's just like a, a chat that I don't do very often I don't think it was like a reaction video pies and lies pies and lies Nick in the Midwest hello I didn't see you come in all right guys let's get to let's get to oh. all right guys I'll talk to you soon Somebody sent me a clip from the, her new live stream. I don't know what she's doing, but she says she was here. She was not here. If she says she was here. in my place. She's lying. She was Let's talk about this right off the bat, right? Hey, Angela. Um, so I guess uh, Nader went live. Well, I don't, I don't mean I guess. Nader went live shortly after Chantel. Okay. And Chantel has been absent for a, for a whole day. Now, when Chantel went live, she didn't right off the bat say that he was keeping her there, that he had hid her car keys. I think she says it later on. But when he went live, he titled his video, It's Not True. Okay? And Chantel, I don't think at that time, had even said what had happened. Now, in my opinion, okay, Kenzie's channel, it's it's right up here where the top of the chat where it's pinned, just click it. It's Kenzie Christians. It'll take you right to it. He was ready to do this. I think he told her, if you go live and say what happened, I'm going to say it was a lie. Right? Because if I remember correctly, I don't think Chantel had even started to say why she hadn't been live yet. Nodder 
was ready to go with this title in his live stream. So as much as Chantel is a liar, I think that she was telling the truth. I think she was there. And he's trying to say that she wasn't. Hello, Linda. Linda, sorry. If he's denying he did it. Mm -hmm. They both lie. Oh, absolutely. Let's let him, let's go ahead and uh, let him finish. I was not here. And she said it was a uh, relationship trying to fix it. There's no relationship since I said I broke up. I broke up. Get over here. What are you over? Thousand percent. Million percent. When I say I broke up, uh -oh. I broke up. When Hold on. We can't do 1.5 when it's not her. Sorry, people. I was in a relationship, I say I was in a relationship. That's clear to everybody, but it's not clear to her. But she was not here, guys. Like, she made this story and she keep talking about me again in relationship. This is not true. There is no relationship. See, she wasn't saying a whole lot about him at this time. If I remember correctly, because I slowed it down, Michelle. I got it on normal speed. If I remember correctly, she wasn't even really speaking on him yet. She doesn't want to speak on him yet at this time, right? I think he's got another one. Chantel was asked in her chat if she went to Nodder's and she said yes. That was before Nodder went live. I think he's upset because Chantel wouldn't edit his video. I think she told him no. And you can tell he's mad. He looks pissed off. I think this, this is what this whole fight is about. Is that Chantel told him she's not going to edit his video. And she, he was trying to keep her at his apartment now this is all speculation this is my opinion people but i think that she, he was trying to keep her there because she refused to edit and upload his video that's all he cares about is being a youtube celebrity tally i believe she was there and he is trying to deny it so he doesn't piss off new or potential sugar mamas he has the side bitch well absolutely will you please post your sweet potato casserole recipe in the description for this video or discord please Great Gibo, we will post some recipes over in um, the Discord. I'll put together everything that I couldn't cook and put it in the Discord. She is so delusional. I kind of want to believe him, but he's such a piece of shit. I heard that I don't know what to believe anymore. I think that he's just too focused on being a YouTube celebrity and his whole hold on Chantel and the reason that he's even willing to offer her a friendship is so he she can work for him. Not only is she working for him, people, she's buying the groceries for him to do these videos talk about and uh, got something else to think about new character looking for new character if you know somebody to got some view but for me i will i will speak about your lies every time you lie i will i'm here don't lie about me when i'm still alive then you was in my place no you was not here why you been here she was in my place guys she's supposed to come eat and edit my video since i don't that would look see that's what he's mad about right there video she's not here you should, all of you know that no i got the video somebody says she's not talking about you i got the video talking about me saying about relationship about her story for six months this story she says toxic yes it is everybody know what you did for me and how you trying to fuck my reputation don't say you helped me because everybody know your reputation fucked yourself as much as i dislike chantel okay you are the one who ruined your own reputation, not her. You're a user and an abuser. We don't need Chantel to tell us shit. She could have not opened her big fat mouth and we would have known that, okay? I think he is 100% lying in this situation. Vaka Lullaby, I 100% agree with you. He's a big fat fucking liar right now. The, the way you help me. This is, this is the way. Talk about me and you think you help me? No, you're helping yourself. You only love yourself. This is not help. If somebody see this help this is what we call manipulation he's telling her that she only loves herself because she's actually refusing to do something for him so what happens when you tell abuser no i've been here i've been through this shit i know exactly what he's doing because she said no she's the one that only loves herself why because she won't edit your videos not her so she won't come over and record for you so she only loves herself that's manipulation that she go every time toxic me? No, this is not help, Chantal. She think this is my weak point, but I don't have weak point. Just a little bit of time. I'm looking for editor. Do you understand what he's saying here? She thinks this is my weak point, but I don't have a weak point. And by that, he means by her telling him no, that he's saying that she thinks that he's going to break and say, oh, I'll be in a relationship with you or whatever the circumstance may be. He's like, no, I'll just get an editor. 
He's lying. She was there and she told him no. And everything will be okay. Why don't you just tell your story from beginning? I will. But even if I don't talk and she keep talking in relationship, she keeps saying relationship. I'm not in relationship with you. Get it. Since I swear to my mother life, never is gonna change, guys. One more time, she keep talking like this. Even friend is not gonna happen, okay? So if you need to keep friendship, this is the only option. More than that, even friend, I cannot take it. No friend will do that's his friend. Nobody will do that for a boyfriend. Nobody will do that. Whatever name, nobody will do what you're doing. She said you had her car key so she can't leave. <laughs> Is that Chantal or the other person? Yeah, guys, you see. That's true. If you've ever been in a toxic relationship and you've told your story to somebody and they've repeated it back to them and they laughed at you in your face, that he knows right there. He knows it. He's laughing because it's true. What a piece of work, man. Exactly. See one person. I see a lot of people in the same person. I has her car key. Why? I don't even drive. She was not even here. How I keep her car I don't even drive. That has nothing to do with you driving, Nara. You obviously were trying to keep her there. Car key. Why I keep her car key for her? When she come here, anytime. When she come, she choose she come. I never go there, her place, myself. So if I go there with her, so she accept it. And when she come, she come. Not me. Go drag her here. I'm not in a relationship with you. Leave. Leave. Finish. Why do you keep... Seeing Fury when she talks crap about you. I don't keep her. I just say we're not in a relationship. And as friendship, that's going to be gone soon. Very soon. One more time. So, so why are you keeping the friendship, Nader, if you're such a... I'm a real man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real man. You know why he's trying to hold on to the uh, quote-unquote friendship now? Is because that he knows that's the only way that he's going to be able to get anything done for his channel. So he's going to call her a friend and tell her she's about to lose that... So he can still have control over her, still get her ass back in his apartment to do what uh, she needs to do for him. So demeaning. He's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And Chantel, you were the biggest moron I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. Just keep the friendship. It's only one chance. And guys, you know my word. My only word is one, one chance. I'm not taking it back. When I spit it, I don't lick it. Even she uh, keep talking shit about Monique. Monique, one of my good friends. Because she talked to me or supported me. She don't like nobody to support me. That's her problem. She's thinking, oh, her or nobody? No, not you anymore. Sunshine, she just called you stupid. Yeah, I was stupid to keep this, to keep trying to help her. And she keeps saying, oh, she helped me. How in the hell? Not her, did you help Chantel? How did she benefit from being over there and being friends with you? You kept trying to help her. Do a lot for me. What a lot to do for me? A lot for me? Since I know her, she gave me bullshit. Since I know her, she fucked my name. She say what? Oh, he record only about his... Who do you think, honestly? Who do you think bought this outfit that Nader's wearing right now? Who do you think bought that hat? Who do you think bought that cell phone that is in his hand and the one he's live streaming on? All of a sudden, he's got two devices. Since when, uh, Mr. Nader, who was just, um... When was it that you tried to steal those $15 shoes from Walmart? Now, all of a sudden, you've got two devices to one to live stream from and another one to read chat how'd you get all that hmm he may be more delusional than chantel he's just more conniving like chantel is legit delusional he knows exactly what he's doing there's a difference chantel is legit just delusional needs to be inpatient asap reputation if your reputation fucked and you fuck it by yourself and you're trying to fuck other people's reputation, yeah, I care about my reputation. I care about who I am. I care about uh, the lie you're saying about me. You already your reputation fuck, so it's your choice. I broke up with you because I'm looking for my reputation. And you don't do anything good to me. The only thing, you edit my video and you eat the food. So it was nothing for free. But if you go other... See, he's trying to set nothing for free. <laughs> you are so pathetic. You are just such a sad, sad little small man. You really are a nodder. And honestly, I will be glad when Chantel finally writes your little bitch ass off so you can go back to being the broke nobody that you always were, okay? Because that's what's going to happen. The only reason you get views is because people hate watch you to see if Chantel's in the background. Once you don't have Chantel to talk about, once that's completely cut off and over with, you'll have nothing. Do you think people actually watch your videos to see what kind of food you're cooking? You might get 100 views. 
once this is done and it's a sealed deal and Chantel is out of your life, if that ever happens, Chantel's so stupid it might not. And I don't think it will unless somebody steps in and gets gets this woman committed. You will be absolutely nothing without Chantel, okay? Nothing. Because I'm Mother Singh, since I know you, you talk shit about me and I don't. Because I respect myself before respecting you. And I keep saying, oh, she's sick, she have mental health problem. Okay, keep going, keep going, trying, 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 trying. But no, he is full stop. And you need to understand full stop. So why you lie and say you was here? Why? So why you come back even? Why you trying to come back? Why you call me and cry? It's not gonna happen. And you know it's not gonna happen. Since you keep doing this, it's not gonna happen. And actually she texted me today, she said, oh, we're trying, you're not good to me. I say, it's not good to me, don't talk about the relationship. You like to keep friend or no? And I think, I think that's why I say in the uh, message too. I think even friendship, friendship is not gonna work. So if you say something different than that. And, and the only reason you're willing to say you don't think it's gonna work is so she comes back over and buys your bitch ass groceries again, Nodder. That's it. Could you imagine? You, this is how you know. Like, we've been new, obviously, that Nader is a no-good motherfucker. Honestly, and this has nothing to do with the way that Chantel looks or anything like that, but anybody who's willing to get in a relationship with Chantel right now until she works on herself is going to be a no-good person. Who is going to date her? She has so many things going on in her life right now that she needs to work on. Hygiene being one of the top, at the top of the list, Okay. This little bitch thinks he's a lot of himself, huh? Thinks a lot of himself. He thinks he's better than Chantel, but in a situation, he's a nobody loser. Anybody that gets in a relationship with Chantel is going to be a no good motherfucker until she works on herself. She's not going to attract anybody worth the fuck. And that's not to do with anything with her looks. It's because she has a lot of things going on hygiene just a lot of mental health issues um she's a narcissist she actually is right she's got obviously some uh drug problems that she needs to work on there's a whole lot that Chantel needs to work on Chantel is the fatty mother Teresa of the new Canadians <laughs> and you lie more I have the message don't lie when I'm still alive lie when I die so I cannot answer. And this fucking, uh, the stupid guy leave with her or stupid girl leave with her, whatever he called himself. He hate me. Of course you hate me. I'm not the type of person you like. <laughs> of course. You like soft guys, it's not me. I'm not soft. Actually, last time she trying to help me. She had the video and put her voice in video. And I told her nobody need to listen. In my video, nobody need to listen to your voice. And this is my video. Why would your voice in? That's what the problem was, people. And I knew that from the get-go. It was not the situation that Nader was upset about. He did not want Chantel speaking or for his audience to know that Chantel was even recording the video. Even though we obviously all know because we can hear her breathing, this is how much he dis he hates Chantel. He hates Chantel. What's he saying, Michelle? <laughs> Slow it down, maybe you'll be able to hear it. He doesn't even want her voice to be heard. It's not about the little... Uh, bickering that they did back and forth it's about that her voice was even in his video there you go nodder hey shenanigans but she keep it as oh she make a mistake no it was not a mistake you make it in purpose and she was trying to say like this is the way i talked to her I was aggressive no it's not aggressive i asked her if she need something this or this she go on other things she always she don't know what she wants like if you ask somebody simple question do you like honey or maple syrup? i tell you, oh, you eat boot vanilla last time. The question was honey or maple syrup. Compare that to everything in life. You need to walk or you need to Nobody go. Nobody talks to somebody like that unless they really dislike that person or if they really hate that person. You, you he hates you know. that he has to depend on Chantel for anything. Tara B, welcome to the official support group. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. You think if I ask Sam, Sam, you want honey or syrup in your, in your coffee or whatever, tea, whatever they're making... And she starts talking about something for vanilla, I don't know, uh, yogurt. I'm like, no, do you want honey or you want maple syrup? It's not that serious, you know? Nobody's going to sit there. It's not like he went off the rails, but it's obvious the way that he said it again. He hates her. And he hates himself. This man hates himself. Hey, Yaki. But we been knew he didn't like her. Yes, Daisy player. But 
you know, it's just becoming more obvious and more apparent that he it, he can't even fake it anymore. He used to at least, you know, when you go back and you watch those vlogs and things and the trip to Toronto, he could actually fake it. But he's past the point of even faking it. Jim, I think I need to shower. And I think the most thing that he's so upset about, you can tell in this whole video, he's upset. He's mad. He's pissed off, right? He had this ready to go. Look, Chantel didn't go live all day the day before for no reason. Something happened that was keeping her from going live. And then she drops a video before she goes live. He's losing control. He thought for sure in his mind, he had it locked in that he was going to be able, after he put in a little bit of work and they went on this Toronto trip and they worked out whatever they were going to do, he had it in his mind that he had this in the bag. And that's the problem. He thought he had this whole shit in the bag. Now he's got Chantel legit wrapped around his little finger. He's going to start calling the shots, get rid of Pete's. Uh, you probably stopped doing your live streams. We're going to focus on my channel and when that didn't happen, now he's starting to lose his shit. Now he's starting to obviously lose his cool. Go back and watch a few videos. There's been a few people, even me, I'm like, hell, he don't seem that bad. Because he was able to disguise it, right? And now Chantel is starting to tell him no. She start, I'm not editing your videos. Look at the way you treat me. I'm not doing it. I'm not kicking out Pete's. He's losing the plot very quick. He's about, Chantel, don't go back. This is not a relationship. He don't like you. He hates you. Girl, he's going to beat your ass. Legit. That's what's going to happen. She also restored her five and a half hour deleted live from a few days ago and changed the title back to the name again. Jesus. Chantel, it's not a game. When you have somebody who is this hateful and this angry and already has a reputation for physically assaulting somebody... Go ahead and go ahead and take that chance. Roll the dice, Chantel. Roll the dice. He's pissed. And things are about to go from bad to worse for you. Ready to go out. So you're gonna um I don't feel like I'm going to go out anymore. So you need to know what you want for other people to deal with it. She don't know what you want. Because if she was need relationship with me, this is not the way to keep relationship. But she don't want she don't know what you want. Hard to decide because she say no, the other person inside her say yes. The third person say because she's four, five, and one. So the, all of them, different opinion. I'm not dealing with one person. She, she say he miss, she miss her to be because of me. I'm not missing appointment because nobody. Why you miss Rabi because of me? That I tell you don't go to Rabi? I wish you have 10 to Rabi, maybe they fix this uh, stuff. You remember that first Rabi, kick her out? <laughs> the the Rabi person, he cannot deal with it. The one who study psycho. I was seeing for a reason. After bro broken up, I cook, she edit the video, and she eats. It's a good deal. And this was the deal from the beginning. Nothing said broke up. Tatiana, that's the only thing that, Chant that absolutely is saving Chantel from getting her ass whooped right now. But fuck around and find out, Chantel, because he won't care eventually. She should snap his glasses in half. <laughs> no shit. This was the deal. Every time I, she talk about me, uh, the only, only time she come back, because she have love for me. Girl, what you do when you try next relationship, just advice for you. If you treat any man like this, or you're trying to talk to him or saying bad stuff about him or whoever to get some views, this is not the way. Nobody will be with you like this. I got patient too much for you. Nobody will have it. In real life, you have only oh, Shannon and Beats, your friend. Two you're at the surprise. I've seen a new receipt for a ring. Husband upgraded my ring. Now I need to guess when he will give it to me. You little shit. Mm -mm -mm. Now you're not going to be surprised. What's going to happen if he fucks around and not gives you that ring? Hey, J uh, you have a side chick. <laughs> He's so scary, dude. I agree. A lot of people like to say, oh, what's he going to do? Look at him. He's nothing. You Men in general are strong. Period. It's genetics. Men are strong. Nader has got some strength behind him. Compared to what Chantel has, yeah. He will knock her ass out flat. So when will they finally break up for good? Do you think her channel will survive? Um... Murphy Smith, I think that Chantel is going to honestly uh, take her chances and go back. But the thing is, if she goes back, we're going to start seeing a whole lot less of Chantel and a whole lot more of Nodder on his channel. Um, I don't know how long the back and forth will go. I think somebody's going to have to step in. I think eventually, and I hate to say this because I don't wish this on nobody. And even if he does, 
<laughs> Didn't he decline her on the dating app, but she chased after him? Probably. Um, even if she does go back, I think eventually he is going to get physically violent with her and he's going to bust her ass up. Like, I'm not just, you know, and I don't want to see that happen, but it's going to. He, she is going to push his button so far, he's going to snap. And that's probably when something will finally happen to where he'll go to jail. Um, she'll have to get a restraining order out. It, it'll, it's going to come down to the cops getting involved, right? But I want to say when that does happen, that still does not make Chantel a victim of domestic violence. Okay, there's a difference. And it's going to happen. And I hate that for her, but it's going to. He's going to beat her ass. She can kick him. No, I think, but once that does happen and they're finally separated, let's say by the law, I don't know how the law works over in Canada. I think her channel is going to tank because nobody at that time, if she tries to go back to mukbangs, is going to be interested. It might survive for a while, but, but you're talking about this could go on for another year. <laughs> She probably thinks it's cute to push it. Yeah, because she really, she has no idea. It's just plain old violence. It's assault. It'll be assault, not domestic violence, Chantel. Two people. One cannot handle because you lie to her. And when she talk, I get mad about the lies you say because you lie from the beginning. So it's all complicated. So this is one. And the other one, he deal with you because he's psycho like you. For 20 years, I don't know how you broke, why you broke up. He's, this is the only good person for you. Advice, since you stay handling you 20 years, don't leave him go. Stay with him badly, like catching him because nobody will accept because he's not hey, always Fred. there. That's why he, he can't take it. He's like you. He say, uh, somebody, somebody ask him and he say, I don't take shower. I take shower every three days. I don't need it. Nobody. You're old enough to know that you need shower every day at least. But for somebody have uh, now, all this. I've seen people, I think in her chat um, that we were telling because, you know, they were going on the same time. Chantel's really poly no way she would fight. No, Chantel's not going to fight back. She's gonna, when she gets that first hit, it's going to change her life forever. She'll never be the same. And no, she won't fight back. You don't fight back when you think you're in fear for your life. I, I mean, yeah, some people might, but no. I think she'll just cower over. And that's probably the best thing to do. Don't fight back unless you just run for the door. She's not going to win with him. He just won't take her crap. No. Uh, people were saying in the chat that he was talking about Pete's. Was he talking about Pete's or is he talking about Chantel? So he's telling Pete's to shower. He was talking about Pete's not showering. Her little T-Rex arms would, wouldn't land any punches. She said he hit her before. We're not talking. We're talking about he's actually going to fucking hit her. She would have a cardiac event if she got into an actual physical fight. Okay, so he's talking about Pete's. Okay, I just want to make sure that was clear. Box is in the house until I go visit to throw some in the garbage. I'm the only one when I go there because I don't like my eyes doesn't take garbage. I can't handle it. So when you keep the garbage in your house for a couple months and you think you, you need only shower every three days, cockroach is going to be soon in over the place. I don't know how the animal lives there. How the animal lives there? They come to check the cat. This is the only time she cleaned the house. <laughs> I, I wish they come to just surprise. But and that right there, that little tidbit that he's given, happy Saturday, Yabba with my coffee is a good start to my day. Nikki, thank you so much for the super chat. We do appreciate you. Have a good day. She already knows his ladder smacks her. She won't and can't fight back. He knows he is stronger than her. Yeah. This little tidbit that he gave her, not that we ain't been known, that Chantel don't clean her house. But please believe he's going to drop a whole lot more, Chantel, if you don't start editing his videos real freaking quick, okay? Real quick. Probably videos, text messages, doing? whatever he's got in his little hard drive on his phone that you gave him, girl. He's going to start dropping shit out to embarrass you. He's making good for the cats. She's trying to make mess and him to help for that. So they're gonna come, uh, they're gonna have mice and stuff and rats, so the the cat will have fun. <laughs> this is not the way. And by the Sun Q, I know it's not Pete's mess, but damn, the man is a slob too. Sun Q, Pete's, it makes Pete's kind of worse because at least Chantel pays the bills. Doesn't matter how she makes her money. He's living there, as far as I'm concerned, rent free. Why ain't that house spick and span? That's the least he could do. 
That's the least he could do. There's no reason. And there's no reason Chantel can't clean her own house. But especially if you're paying your way and somebody else's way, can't you at least take damn boxes out, pack them up in her car and have her drive down to the recycling area? Can you imagine how long the trash sets in their house before they actually take it to the dumpster? Do you know what that's... How far is the dumpster from her apartment? It's not right next door. They actually got to do a little bit of walking. Not much, but a little bit. There's probably bags upon bags upon bags that we don't even see of trash there. Even children do chores? Absolutely. The same Chantel's money. They're all trifling. Mm hmm. Pete should be a house husband. And a damn one on what the fuck. What redeeming qualities do any of y'all have to offer any a spouse? Chantel talking about she's going to try to start dating again. What do you have to offer somebody? This man has committed domestic violence before and stabbed two women. He's definitely hit her already. Domestic violence doesn't just immediately start as being thrown into a wall and beat half to death. I agree, Lisa. What an asshole. This is going to piss her off. I'm telling you, a restraining order will happen against her. That's the, the longest my trash sets in my house. If I didn't cook meat, it's two days. I've got two boys, so my trash goes out daily, okay? And even if I didn't have them, it would. It's disgusting. I've dealt with the fruit fly infestation before. Never again. Those fruit flies, a lot of times, no matter what you do, can't get rid of those damn things. No way, it's not problem to have problem, mental health problem. It's not... Did they delete both of them? Did he delete his and she delete hers? A stank puss. <laughs> That's what she has to offer. Farts and burps. She, she grosses people out for a living. Exactly. What kind of partner are you going to find being like that? It's not what I mean. You can be a psycho, but don't lie. This is, I talk not about, about lying because I'm here still alive. I still have my channel. I still can answer. Even if I don't like to answer this shit. I'm not going to let you lie anymore. Remember when I keep you talking, 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 I don't even go on YouTube and talk. Even when people ask me for the real story and I have it all. Archive. I let it go by choice. But when you're not here and you say you was here, why? What the reason for it? And toxic, yes, you text a toxic relationship. I don't get anything from it. You know how many times they catch your lie? Chantel doesn't need you. You need her money, so I don't need anybody money. I'm in Canada for 11 years. I don't need anybody money. I don't want money. If she lose her YouTube, she will not have job. Me, if I don't have YouTube, I still have job. I'm still chef. Okay, maybe. Maybe he's speaking some facts there. We all know. Hey, Texas. Who said cream of yeast? <laughs> yeah, y'all are gross, I swear. Speaking of cream, do y'all eat... uh? Celery and cream cheese on Thanksgiving, Christmas. Some of the best shit. Karate Joe would date her. Exactly. That's about as good as it's going to get. That's disgusting. And Chantel, you need to actually think about that. You know, you should listen to what he just said and think about that. and Put a little bit of effort into your life. He's speaking facts there. He's a broke liar. Mm-hmm. If your YouTube ends... You got nothing, Chantel. What are you going to do? I don't know if he's a chef. I don't know if anybody would hire him. He's a fucking violent offender. I'm all for, um, you know, felons having a second chance. But when you stabbed somebody, uh, that's probably a no for me, son. He's getting a government check. I guarantee it. That's what the word is, Tally. I'm cleaning day. It's not hard as long as you have to invest maybe two hours every day. Daily habits. Our wiping countertops, sweeping, cat's litter box, cat food area, doing dishes. Exactly. Smiley face. You got people out here working 60 and 70 hours a week that's still able to keep a clean house. So Chantel and Chantel and Pete's neither one got a job between the both of them. I said the cream of yeast thing yesterday. Not surprised our, la our lady Chantel perpetual poutine. <laughs> you can't just say speaking of cream. <laughs> matter what but it's not true hey, I don't need nobody we need people we all need people I was needing for help but I added my demand you know, and I can't pay for that no problem if I did and I pay for it and I was paying here for it cooking for her this is work and edit my video this Ooh, was work and, was try that. and I talk about something last live stream and say no I was lying keep going exactly. and I say the truth again keep lying and I will say it was proof 
every word I say is true. And I don't need to lie. She don't like to give me any view. She don't like me. She hate me for nothing or whatever because because of you too. And first thing, she the part I delete from my video because Chantal was in it. She make propaganda. This is aggressive. It was not aggressive. It was question, and they get annoying. Where is aggressive in it? I ask you a question. You did this or this, and you go for somewhere else, and they get annoying. She pays for your grocery and it is your video. Get free meal and it is you. You think your cooking are that available? Yeah, I make good food. Maybe you don't try my food. It's your problem. Uh, Rose tea. Thanks for super chat. I hate him too. I think he gives a lot of women who've been through domestic violence PTSD. Just the way he talks, just the way he tries to manipulate people. He's even trying to manipulate us. Ain't nobody falling for your bullshit, Nader. That's why we do things like we shame his members and stuff like that because he is literally a scumbag. I couldn't be a woman and not have a job. Should I like to buy nice things and, and go places and somehow, and someone could not have a job? I don't understand. Seattle Batty agreed. I mean, there's, you know, stay at home moms, which is a job in itself. Okay. And then there are relationships out there where either the husband or the wife, they can provide for the family and you're taking care of the household and the kids and everything. And that's just, a, that's a job too. But these people don't have anything like that. C creepy creep from Creepville. Absolutely. And that's why Chantel got so much shit for even bringing him on this platform. Because we all knew what he was. Stay at home mom is a job. It's a whole job. It's more than a job. <laughs> You're raising the next generation and that itself is important. If you <laughs> can do it, stick to it. They deserve each other. Perfect couple. Bloomers, can't, can't disagree with it. Thank you for super chat. But you like my food that much that you accept to edit the video. It was not the deal with you. So you have nothing to do with it. It was the deal and she accepted. Did it bother you? You don't like that? Don't like it then. It is what's true. It is what's real. Such a and cocky not, son I don't of make the deal with you. You think yeah, my food is uh, that good? Yeah, my food is that good. What toast, happened the night toast. she said you beat her? I don't beat nobody, guys. Everybody knows she was high and she sees stuff. So the five birds. Why do you keep making up this scenario? Why do you keep making out like... I feel like what he's trying to do is make us believe that Chantel is really crazy. We know that Chantel has some mental problems. Thank you so much, Nodder. This is our girl, okay? We've been here. We've put in the time. We've watched every video. We've read the forums. We've followed the community post. We are the ones that have put in the time with Chantel. We know Chantel. Don't tell us nothing about Chantel. We don't already know. We know it all trying to convince us that this woman's out here seeing shit. So when she pops off a story about you, you can say the bitch is crazy and she sees people. Why do you keep telling this story? Do I think that Chantal has some mental issues that she needs to get worked out? Like she's delusional as far as thinking that you're in love with her, that you that, that y'all been in a relationship? Yes. Do I think that Chantel sees things even when she's on drugs? No, I think that's something that you've put in her head. And yes, I know that she said that, but I think that he has convinced her of that shit. So when it comes down to something happening to Chantel, this woman's going to come up with a big bruise on her eye and they're going to come up with the whole story that she fell down the steps or some shit. That's exactly what he's trying to do right now by trying to convince us that she sees people. That's what happens. She sees people. Stay away from our crazy nodder. Chantel belongs to us. Okay? While you're busy trying to take her off YouTube, it's because of you all this shit's even going on. If you wouldn't have came and kicked in our door, we'd still be sitting here watching Chantel fart and eat. Nervous, this man. So I deal with every day. This time was 10. And she sees stuff. She sees people in the house. She sees a couple of people in the house and there was nobody here. And I don't. And again, if I beat you up and I treat you bad and I'm very like what you say, a piece of shit with you and everything what you're saying, I'm not the one who go ask you to come back. You will come back. That's actually proof that you're lying about everything you said. If you are just friend, why do you keep sleeping with her? She was not here. How I sleep with somebody is not even in the house. She's friend and she want to keep it. <laughs> Just admit it. Just admit it, Nodder. The woman that you tell, tell us is so da dirty and so nasty and her house is so disgusting. You're still sticking it to her. Okay? So who's really the dirty, disgusting one, Nodder? Huh? 
He's human garbage. Agreed. Ma, I don't care what she's saying. I'm saying I'm talking to myself from me, me, the one who talk. I'm not with her. And whatever between us is friendship now. Yeah. And more than that, uh -huh. sure, it's sure. not going to even happen. By the way, because she was keeping telling she paying for my internet, whatever, I ordered internet yesterday. So the internet is mine. What? Who's money? And even her stuff here. And the internet before, she don't pay for it. Just to let you know. No, I don't imitate nobody. Why if I imitate nobody, somebody, she come back here. Working for food, I think she's over you. She will never going to forget me. And she always would try to come back because it was good to her. And you know, I handle her a lot. That's the truth. But when she Chantel, come on, dude. Why would you let? Oh. I mean, I know why. I'm, I'm, I already know the answer to my question. Because you let yourself get so bad and so out of control that this is legit. What? I hate to even say it, but what you deserve. He thinks because he's a known liar that he can say whatever about her and or because she's a known liar and we will all believe it. He doesn't realize we know her. Exactly, Mary Beth. She say, oh, because just to love him, this is not love. You understand love long, wrong. And if you do that, somebody, nobody, like to anybody, nobody will love you. The therapist have hard time with her. Last two days, I keep asking her to come eat the video. She's trying to play game and no, no, busy, do you hear this. this. This is what, this is what this whole mess is about. And this is why I think it's true. Hold on. This, in my opinion, is what the entire fight is about. But like to anybody, nobody will love you. The therapist have hard time with her. Last two days, I keep asking her to come eat the video. She's trying to play game and no, no, busy, do this, do that. Okay, I need to look for somebody and that's it. You, the deal is done. You're going to lose, not me. You're going to lose, not me. And see, he knows that Chantel. It, to Chantel, for whatever reason, and her freaking little pea brain... Thanks because she goes over there and edits his videos and everything and he's nice to her that they're in love. And he knows that and he takes full advantage of that. Pete's loves her, agreed. She thinks this is the best she can do. Mm-hmm. Well, at this at this time she doesn't need to have anybody. This is what this fight's about, period. Why well, she don't sleep in the house last two days? Maybe ask Pete. Well, maybe she was somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe she was her aunt or her mom. Actually, her mom, mother's birthday was yesterday, I think. 18 or 17. I don't know. It was like yesterday or before yesterday. Actually, she texted me. She says she's come and uh, she's coming and la, 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 la. And she was playing game. I think I was keep begging her to add me a video. It's not going to happen. Stay away. Did you always know Beats hey, lived with her? I know lived with her before. But when Toronto time, we've been in a relationship. And I told her. I don't like my girlfriend to live with other guy. I tell her, I cannot, I say not, you can be friend, but you cannot live with him. She don't accept it. And I don't accept her as girlfriend, girlfriend. that's it. She's never been to gym and she will never. If I cannot, I'm the one, cannot take her there. Chantel, if anybody's feet you should be kissing at this time, it's Pete's. Because if Pete's wasn't there and Pete's was gone and moved out, this whole situation of y'all fighting and not being in a real relationship, wouldn't be happening. He'd have you locked down. You should be thanking him right now. Withholding affection is tired and true for dicks like him. Agreed. She would never. She was hiding in the, in the day we were supposed to go. She hide and she go eat McDonald's. She don't want to. So nobody can change her. She loved to lie. So nobody will change that. She loved eating. Nobody will stop that. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Long time you don't talk to me. Who's that? Who's calling him? I didn't see this part. I believe both. She saw things and he convinced her. We saw the Chantel was different. Definitely experiencing common side effect. Yes. Yeah, but he's going to keep using that against her. Gross. I don't even want to think of Pete's feet. Who's this calling him? Hey, hippie piece. Good morning. Chantel hates the gym. He has to be the better person in everything. He has to make sure he has the first word and the last word agreed. Oh, is this Monique? Monique, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Monique, Monique, Monique. Oh, you have no idea what my life has been. It's been nuts. I was waiting 6, 28th October. Huh? I don't forgot. I called you back twice and then you never called. 
I call you back after that. No, really? I never said that. Yeah. I did. I'm live stream now. Can we talk after? Imagine what a fucking loser that you've got to be to be on the phone and call this man because you want some attention. Are y'all 100% sure this is that girl Monique? How disgusting. You really had to be heard. What, to make Chantel jealous? Are you that fucking pathetic? The stairs lady? Is that him flirting? Yeah, probably trying to convince Chantel of what she's missing out on to come edit his videos. Mm mm mm. Hey, Christina from Flint. I'm sorry, yes, of course. Okay. Right, Take care. Here, I got editor. Oh, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to them. I say I got editor. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'll let you stream. Tell me that soon enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> bye bye. Love you. Oh, I love you. It's not Monique. They're saying Monique is in Australia. He's telling these bitches that he loves them. That don't sound like his mom. That don't sound like his sister. Why else would he be telling some woman that he that that he loves them? <laughs> wow, that is not Monique. Okay. Mm 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 mm. Some rando, huh? We'll find out who you are, okay? We'll find out who you are, and we'll embarrass you like you need to be. If you the beauty only passed every three days, how was editing her? I don't know where she was. Ask her what she was last three days, last two days, last four days, I don't know. Last time she come here, the time she ate my veggie, the sandwiches. And last time when she came here for this video, she was trying to sleep in the bed. I bring the other matrix, and I sleep in the other matrix. Nobody told me about this shit. Oh, he didn't. Oh, boy. You can't. There's no way. Chantel, you're done. Like, he ended it for you. How could you? How even could you go back and do anything for this man after this? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hold the phones. Busted every three days. I don't know how the slow-mo is going to do with his accent, but we're going to try it. I would love... I would have loved to see Chantel's face for that. I agreed. What he just said, I would like to... This, this clip needs to be played everywhere. Are you kidding me? My Twitter people, y'all are really, really slacking lately. Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. Exactly, Kenzie. Thank you so much. What did he say? <laughs> I'm, gonna ta I'm taking it back. We're going to try to slow-mo. If it don't work, we'll just play it over. Hold on. How was editing her? I don't know where she was. Ask her what she was. Last three days, last two days, last four days, I don't know. Last time she come here, the time she ate my veggie, the sandwiches. And last time when she came here, for this video, she was trying to sleep in the bed. I bring the other matrix and I sleep in the other matrix and I give her the bed to sleep in. She was there last night. Holy hell, Chantel. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Hey, Lulu, you're not blocked. I see you. Sorry if I missed you. He's dead serious. I'm going to listen to it at normal speed and then we'll keep it going. I'm sorry, but wow. Just wow, Chantel. It's all about editing his videos. That's all he cares about, Chantel. As long as you can edit his videos. <laughs> That's it, girl. Here? I don't know where she was. Ask her here where she was. Last three days, last two days, last four days, I don't know. Last time she come here, the time she ate my veggie, hey, the sandwiches. Vicky. And last time when she came here for this video, she was trying to sleep in the bed. I bring the other matrix and I sleep in the other matrix and I gave her the bed to sleep in. She was there last night. So maybe you know more than me. Do you? <laughs> Do you think Pete's is secretly in love with Chantel to put up with her so much? Much love, Yaba. Your lives make my day. The one and only Puss in Boots. Thank you so much. And thank you so much 
for uh <laughs> for letting me brighten your day anyways yes pete's been in love with chantelle we've been knew this chantelle i mean pete's will do anything and everything for chantelle but he, she doesn't care wow beats love chantelle and would marry her today absolutely 100 percent I just want to bees all weekend. Hands up. Who thinks she was trying to seduce him laying there all sexy and starfishing? A hundred percent, butter crumpet. Holy hell. Yeah, but he slept in the mattress. He didn't. He wanted... He slept on the mattress. He didn't want her going down on the floor and not being able to get up. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad, Chantel. And Chantel do 69. I say we're well, not in a relationship. But even if a relationship was never happened, it's such a good question. It's called 69 or 169. Did Chantal smell? Everybody has smell. Every person has smell. Has. I don't even know what that, that even meant. Different smell. Hey, it's girl. Own smell. What does Chantal smell like? Don't hide anything. Yeah. Smell like Chantal. Smell like everybody has different smell. Thank if you, you smell Andy. my clothes, if you are my girlfriend, every time you smell my clothes, you know this is my smell. They and smell I'm not like here smoke. to talk about Obviously. He's trying to save face here. I think he's realized he might have went too far, right? Might have went a little too far there. You think Chantel's going to come back over and edit your videos, Nodder? I mean, you're such a prize, Nodder. What woman would turn you down? What, what, what woman wouldn't come over and buy your groceries for you and take you to get them and film your video and give you all their electronics and put you on their phone plan, get you a little internet in the house, you know, buy you some new clothes, get you some new undies, Nodder. Chantel gave you those little undies you got on. Did she? I'm a real man. I mean, I'm just asking the right questions here. I'm a real man. Oh, he's saying they didn't? Okay, I gotcha. He just doesn't know because he smells too. I can believe that 100%. You look like you stink. Look at my body. Look at my, look at, look at my body. You gotta stink. We know Chantel stinks. We know everything about Chantel. We know she smells. We don't have to be in Canada to smell Chantel. I can smell Chantel from here and she stinks. You stink too. Hey, profiling manipulation. Have a good weekend. Oh, Sonia. Oh, hey, Sonia. Have a good weekend. Good to see you around. About her. I'm here to correct something already happened. Human. <laughs> about it. You see, she has cockroach. She will. If the garbage doesn't throw up, doesn't throw out. And oh, thank you. They, I, you know what? I needed somebody to tell me that a Chantel didn't take her fucking garbage out that she was going to have cockroaches because we couldn't, because we're all stupid. We couldn't have put that together ourselves that a Chantel didn't take out her cock, or her boxes that she's going to get cockroaches. Nodder, you're so intelligent. You're such a catch. It's crazy how many times he has shamed her publicly and she still goes back. When she goes back, she is just so proud. How sad is that? Bloomers, thank you for the super chat, and I agree. I think this has got to be one of the worst um, shamings that he's done yet. Vicky White, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate you. Mm -mm -mm. Such a catch, Nodder. A girl could only dream. Fox is still at home. and I hope she gets cockroaches and brings them over to your house. The YouTube underground. <laughs> and then you get infested. You probably already got cockroaches. We seen your living room and your mismatched curtains. You ain't got nerve to talk about nobody's house, Nodder. Uh, hey, Cindy ex Lou, he, romantic changed, shower every day. he changed his tune after someone brought up May. He needs her. He needs her to lie for him. Mm -mm -mm. I was shocked Chantel came back online last night. I figured she'd run over there after this. And Nikki, I seen that she uploaded last night and that she did go live again for another Bees in episode. And she was in her... Uh, she was in um her fuck em dress. <laughs> yeah, her fuck em dress. She had her little, uh, what's it called? Leopard print glitter on her eyes. I'm going to assume that after that live stream, she was waiting for his phone call so she could run over there, sleep on his mattress, bringing over the roaches or, that are hiding in her folds. Ugh. Of course, Cockridge will be there. This is a nice place. They're looking for that. She used to have one before in the old apartments. You remember that? Somebody, adult. Well, yeah, we remember that. We were there for that. Do you know how she got those cockroaches? Huh? No, because you don't know nothing about Chantel. You ain't sat through her videos and known how she got those cockroaches. Well, you don't know how she got them, but I know how she got them. And I'm going to tell you how she got them, Nodder. Okay? 
She didn't get them because of anything wrong with the apartment building itself. She got it because she was hiding and eating from BB in her bedroom and stuffing all the pizza boxes and fast food bags in the closet. And after time, well, like you said, you can only leave trash laying around so long before you get an infestation, infestation of cockroaches. You fucking genius. It is not shame that he go in YouTube and say, guys, I don't need shower every day. I need, I need one every three, four days. Why are you it's worried wrong. about whether or not Pete wipes his ass or washes his ass? What's they got to do with the damn thing? You're more concerned with the fact that Pete doesn't wash his ass than you are Chantel's. What, what do you care? Do you all care? Put a one in the chat if you give a damn that Pete washes his ass every three days or not. Huh? Well, why don't you worry about Chantel who never bathes? Did you see her hair yesterday? Why don't you take her outside and hose her down? How, how come you don't do that? Why don't you worry about your woman? Your person who comes over your house and edits your video that you guys sit next to every day and smell, not her. You need shower a day. I think once or twice a day. If your mama raise you up like this, she still... Look at my body. Look at my body. I'm a real man. I'm a I'm a I'm a real man. I'm a real man. I'm a I'm 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 a real man. I'm a real man. I'm a real man. I'm a real man. I'm a real I'm 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 a real man. I don't know. Call me crazy, but any of the men that I've ever been around, they ain't worrying about other men and whether or not they shower or not. What's that got to do with them? I ain't gonna hear no dude, no guy that's straight worrying about if another man showers or not. Why are you worrying about whether or not Pete washes his balls and washes his ass? What's that got to do with the, you and the way your quote-unquote girlfriend smells? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Yeah, your mom's a winner, Nodder. She raised an abuser and a manipulator. You, you use women, Nodder. You hate yourself. It's your wrong thing. And by uh, the time they've been adult now, you should know that. But you're not Do you gonna that know that. That makes you better than Pete's. Are you really intimidated by Pete's? Is that what's going on here? Damn it, Patrice. He gave her the cockroaches. <laughs> he probably did. I'm a real man. Could you imagine have, being so insecure about yourself that you are intimidated by Pete's? <laughs> I mean, Pete's. You ought to be smiling real big, buddy. Because obviously this dude wishes he was you. I don't know why. I don't know what you ever did to him. I mean, you just sit over there and do your own thing, reading your comic books and playing with your My Little Ponies. Maybe that's it. Maybe he wishes that he could come out and be in the open about his My Little Pony collection. <laughs> yes, because us gay guys do worry about showers. You know, I know my gay guys. What you talking about, Brand? I do. Gay guys ain't with that smelly shit. We know that, okay? But men like that ain't gay. They ain't worried about another dude whether or not he showers or not. That's just what it is. Those are facts. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But if you Doing drugs makes you sweat two showers a day. Mm-hmm, bloomers. I used to know a certain person that was on the meth. They stayed in the shower. Nodder. So what's that say about you? And that sore that was on your nose, it was quite questionable, Nodder. That didn't look like a pimple. It looked more like a pick spot. Sleep half the day. You go live streaming, so clean your... <laughs> Who's adult have toys this much in his room? This is kids. This is not adult. And when you have cats, when the cat... Shit, you clean the shit. Deserve to have cat. But if you take shower every three days, how come the house will be clean? Well, how really come bothered. the cat will be clean? The cat? I don't know. Maybe that's why she gets sick and put her down. Poor cat. No shenanigans, but he does some of the best work. Y'all go check out Foodie Beauty Reaction Channel. He's freaking hilarious. Latest not her voiceover video, I'm sure. And he gives no fucks neither. So be warned, be prepared before you enter. I'm sorry for her. You are I obsessed arrived with at the shit show. <laughs> In man marketing, cost three cents. How come I be obsessed with him? <laughs> you are obsessed with him. You just spent like 10 minutes and look, Kenzie cut the shit down. No telling what she took out of you talking about not, uh, Pete's. Mm -mm -mm. Was not a referring to Pete's showering every three days or Chantel. Joda, Pete's. That's what I thought. Like the rest of us thought he was talking about Chantel. That makes sense, you know? He's concerned with the woman that he's uh, sticking it to that's editing his videos for him. Whether or not she sh or showers, totally understandable. But nah, nah dog. He's worried about Pete's and whether or not he washes his ass. That's a big yikes, Nodder. We have questions. We need answers. He say 
he hate me. Of course, you can hate me. I'm clean, you're dirty. Of course, he hate me. Somebody take shot. <laughs> Dude, fucking thing. Prove it, Nodder. We're going to need a sniff test. I'm sorry, but anyone anyone that's willing to be in a room with Chantel longer than 10 minutes at a time, I'm going to question whether or not that they're clean, okay? If on an honest truth, no smell shame here. If I was friends with Chantel, which would never happen, but let's just say, okay, or we had to be in the same room, right? I would encourage her to shower and to use deodorant and to not uh, wear dirty clothes off the floor or sniff her underwear before she puts them on. Like, I would encourage all those good hygiene, and especially if I was this close and intimate with Chantel, okay? I sure as hell ain't worrying about Pete's nodder. You look like a whole fucking asshole. No wonder you deleted this video. Not even an asshole, an idiot. Or two, or two a day. Of course, somebody doesn't man. take a shower. He, he, he must hate me. I do stuff he cannot do. He don't grow up doing it. You know what's mean when you take don't no shower every three days? That's mean your underwear, you wear it for three days. Oh, wow. This went to, this went this went south fast. <laughs> Ninja Man, hit the like button. Thank you, Yabba, for your content. Highlight of my day. Thank you so much for a super chat. And yes, people, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. He's just jealous because when he cuts a hole in the butt of a stuffed My Little Pony <laughs> and sticks his dick in it, it doesn't reach the pony's head. Like, that's gross. That's really close to getting kicked out of here, Our Lady Chantel Perpetual Poutine. That's too far. Okay? Texas, when you calm down, you too. You're all out of control this morning. And you sleep with I get and you that we're all excited because Thanksgiving is coming up, but let's control ourselves, okay? I can't understand why a grown man, a straight grown man, is worried about another grown man's underwear and whether or not they are clean. Can somebody ask him, y'all, and that's the thing, y'all go troll this man, you troll him to death, and you say some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. If I find any of you that are saying that stupid stuff and spamming that chat to where we, he's going through the chat, he's reading it. If y'all want to go over there and troll him, troll him, but why was that chat, literally, they had bots or something, oh, oh, Foodie Beauty owns you, like, over and over and over, like, who are these morons? Ask him why he's worried about another man's underwear. Did you hear he made her text Pete and tell him she can't be friends with him anymore? Where was this, DG? Let me shut up. Let me keep it going so we can get through this shit. Was it and eat? Was it you go everywhere? Was it? And you go to restaurant? Was it and everything? Good to, good to hear, That's Sam. That's not right. Your mama must be proud of you when she hear you say that. Chantal, dirty too. If I leave with somebody... Thanks. God, I can't help it. Chef Snaggletooth. The spamming in his chat is annoying as fuck. It was. You all sucked, whoever did that. Why is he acting like he's trying to, what, poke the bear and you think Pete's is going to take the bait? What are you going to do, beat Pete's up? God. I'm hotter. You're just so pathetic. Hey, dirty. I must like it. 20 years together. <laughs> they must love that. Does Chantel take bath when she was coming here? To see me as a boyfriend in the time, in the one week we'll be in boyfriend. One she week. have to take shower. She have to. If she don't, well, sometimes she take it there and they ask her to take shower to take here. There's nothing wrong with shower. Water. What? I'm not allergic to water. Sorry, Pete. I know you are. But actually, I gave her the key one time. She come to pick up her stuff. Actually, I uh, just to let you know, the clothes she was leaving here, I washed it. And I text her today and I tell her, come pick up your stuff. So I don't like to keep anything here. But she tell me I don't need them, but they're clean. Clean. Maybe that's why you don't like to take them? Or? Guys, <clears throat> I feel like we're in for a serious meltdown pretty soon. And I'm not talking like something that we have seen before. This is going to be new levels of meltdown. It's going to happen, obviously. Beats doesn't allow clean stuff there. I don't. Beats, your friend, you don't talk shit about him online. You talk shit about him only with me. You know what you say all the time. Because you talk shit as much as you can. About tell us, him tell us me, what she says about online. Beats. Because, you know why? That's what you tell me, you know why? Because your VIB like him. So everything, even your friend in your life, <laughs> just for views, not because you like him. Just yeah, to where say did that. he wash them? Good question. Does he got a washer and dryer? She probably bought him one, guys. When's the last time we've seen Chantel over at the, uh, the apartment washing clothes? It's been a while, right? It's possible. I mean, we don't know if there's a washer and dryer hookup. She probably got him one. 
because you say he's my best friend and I'm gonna sell him out. No, you talk that about him. And that's why you keep him as a friend, for your fans, for your views. She talk about beats too. Nader's right. Thanks Nader right for Subhashah. She talk about everyone, but different where she is. Like if she's here, she talk about him. If she's there, she talk about me. Oh, she definitely is a backstabber. He, that's, that's true. Those are facts. If it were, she needs to some views, talk about something toxic relationship, it make me cry, that, that, he, la, la, la. It doesn't actually even respect your own lies. Like, if you lie to somebody, at least respect their brain. Because not... Uh, yeah, he's going to continue talking about Pete's for a minute. I got to go pee, but I'm going to let the video play. I can't help it. It's that coffee, okay? But I'm going to let the video play. Y'all let me know if I'm missing anything good, okay? I'll be right back. Well, nobody will believe that. You the one coming back here every time. Nobody force you. And if I'm threatening you, I'm toxic to you, I am treat you bad, I'm aggressive with you, and I beat you up, and, 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 for six months, don't come back. You made Chantal depressed. She make herself depressed. She always depressed. It's not for today. Before even she knew me, she depressed. She had mental health problem before even she know me. Everybody know. She always depressed. It's her, not me. But if I make this depressed more, stop, come back. Help yourself and watch your mouse because your mouse give you trouble. I told you, if you talk about me again one more time, we're not going to be long together. And it is. I wish you don't have copy for the key. You find her attractive, bold, without hair fibers. Actually, I don't know for beginning she's using hair fibers. But if she don't stop McDonald's and uh, junk food, she will lose more. Her hair was not like that before, but there is no vitamin, just oil. Dirty oil, sorry. How did she get the STD? Ask her, don't ask me. Actually, she have one of my favorite dish. She have a couple of videos I already did, but she's trying to bend my arm. So I asked her two days ago to send me the videos and she says she will, but she don't. If she don't, I have to make new one. This is the help I got. If you love me and you want me to be happy like what you say, why you have my videos don't be even edited. It's trying to make me stuck. Not gonna happen. Post the video of her begging. Guys, I don't say bullshit. I have videos. And she know I take the videos. Because she say, no, I find him recording. No. No. Not true. How many times you ask me to do only fan with you? I say, no. I don't sell my body. And you kiss my feet in video. And not only once. And you know it. But I'm not gonna release it. But at least you know. But if you say no, it doesn't happen, and you want to make me um, look like I lie, I will say it, and you're going to see it. Leg the video. Not like that. Unless she say I'm lying. Chantal said you force her to take shower. Sometime. I say no, take shower. What did I miss? Hold on. While you're away, we all know you just mad Nodder's messing up your starfish session. Thank you, Love Bug, for Super Chat. She has his videos on her phone. He asked her to send them to him. She won't. Oh. So I need to go back? <clears throat> wow, how did I miss all that? Like, Nodder, really? Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. That ain't it. Here we go. Sorry, but I missed it, and I want to hear it. I couldn't have been gone longer than, what, three minutes? And for six months, don't come back. You made Chantal depressed. She make herself depressed. She always depressed. It's not for today. Before even she knew me, she depressed. She had mental health problem before even she know me. Everybody know. She always depressed. It's her, not me. But if I make this depressed more, back stop, feather? come back. Help yourself and watch your mouse because your mouse give you trouble. I told you, if you talk about me again one more time, we're not going to be long together. And it is. I wish you don't have... Back feather, Sam? Is this good? Hold on. I want to make sure because she's saying I can't miss it. She's, he's even talking about her hair. Chantel's money. <laughs> Hold on, bro. He talks fast and jumps from topic to topic. It's a headache and a half. To I couldn't do it. There's no way. They're both pathetic, pathetic human beings. Back feather? You gotta be freaking joking me. Help yourself and watch your mouth. Dang, what a catty bitch. Yes, back more. It's fine. He threatened to leak the... Oh, and she kissed his feet on video. Okay, sorry, but it is what it is. Let's go back to 25-minute mark. There's no way. I was quick. 
Oh, Sam saying that's good, but whatever. We'll go to 26 more. It, whatever. Not online. Because, you know why? That's what you tell me. You know why? Because your VIB like him. So everything, okay, even your friend in your life, just for views. Not because you like him. Just I say that because you say he's my best friend and I'm going to sell him out. No, just talk that about him. And that's why you keep him as a friend. For your fans. For your views. She talk about beats too. Nader's right. Thanks, Nader right for Subhash. She talk about everyone. But different where she is. Like if she's here, she talk about him. If she's there, talk about me. If it were, she needs to some views, talk about something. Toxic relationship, it make me cry. That, that, yeah, la, la, la. It doesn't actually even respect your own lies. Like if you lie to somebody, at least respect their brain. Because not nobody will believe that. You the one coming back here every time. Nobody force you. And if I'm threatening you, I'm toxic to you, I am treat you bad, I'm aggressive with you, and I beat you up, and, 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 for six months, don't come back. You made Chantal depressed. She make herself depressed. I agree. M M C G. It's going to be nuclear. I have to agree. I don't think it's scripted, guys. I think we are hitting the end of the road, and it's going to explode. She always depressed. It's not for today. Before even she knew me, she depressed. She have mental health problem before even she know me. Everybody know. She's always depressed. It's her, not me. But if I make this depressed more, stop, come back. Help yourself and watch your mouse because your mouse give you trouble. I told you, if you talk about me again one more time, we're not going to be long together. And it is. I wish you don't have Kobe for D Higgins, I agree. A lot of the things he's saying is right. It is true. But here's the problem. He's telling us all the bad shit about Chantel. There's lots of bad... This was a two-way street. The, the, both of them have done this shit. It's going to happen, Rebecca. There are things that he has said to Chantel to make her think that there's a, 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 a glimmer of hope for these two. They're both manipulating each other. I'm sure there's shit that Chantel knows about him, like him stealing shoes from the Walmart. I'm sure there's a whole list of other shit that Chantel is going to say or can say about Nodder. But he's just spilling all the beans about Chantel. Most of it we already know. We've been new. Now we need Chantel to come back with all the shit about Nodder. Okay, girl? Because obviously it's over and done. For the key, you find her attractive, bold, without hair fibers. Actually, I don't know for beginning she's using hair fibers. But if she don't stop McDonald's and uh, junk food, she will lose more. Her hair was not like that before. But there is no vitamin, just oil. Dirty oil, sorry. How did she get... Her hair's been like that for a long time. What are you talking about? The STD. Ask her, don't ask me. Actually, she have one of my favorite dish. She have a couple of videos I already did. But she's trying to bend my arm. So I asked her two days ago to send me the videos. And she says she will, but she don't. If she don't, I have to make new one. This is the help I got. If you love me and you want me to be happy like what you say, why you have my videos don't be even edited. You're trying to make me stuck? Not gonna happen. Post the video of her. Oh, Chantel, you're trying to put him in a pickle, huh? You're trying to make it so what? He has to sleep in what? The same bed with you? Why do you want to be with somebody who don't want to be with you, Chantel? Why? And Chantel is not alone in this. There's women out there who act like this, hold something over their head, maybe hold um, a man's child from them unless they spend time with the mother too. It's a thing. People do it. Men do it to women. Women do it to men. It's disgusting. It's pathetic. ER visit or McRage. Mm, I wonder if she's going to try to stay with her uncle again, you know, so he can keep watch on her for God knows what this time. Begging. Guys, I don't say bullshit. Though. I don't even want to say it, but I feel like I know what's up next. We had the Coke era, and I feel like with this breakup with Nodder, I'm not going to say it, but read between the lines. I hope she doesn't try to do anything to herself. That type of thing, I feel like is a possibility that's up on the plate next, okay? I'm just saying. Have videos. She's done and it she before, know. she'll do it again. I take the videos because she say, no, yeah, I find him recording. No, no, not true. How many times you ask me to do only fan with you, I say no. I don't sell my body. And you kiss my feet in video. And not only once. And you know it. But I'm not going to release it. At least you know. But if you say no, it doesn't happen. And you want to make me um, look like I lie, I will say it. And you're gonna see it. Leg the video. Not like that. Unless she say I'm lying. Chantal said you force her to take shower. Sometime. I say no, take shower. But at least she knows she need to take shower. Not like the other one. 
He believe in his head. He no need shower every three four days. This, this is what he think he needs. You're single for long time, right? Wonder why? Did you kick her cat? No, she was trying to make some views yes, and make me look bad. bad when we argue one time. And by herself, she go after say he is not the same person. Say yes and no. And a lot of people say this is for views, but I think you guys are forgetting Sh Chantel's main uh, dopamine is attention, right? A lot of it, she gets the views from it, but her main goal is not the views, I don't think. It's whatever to get attention on her. Just like she used to do as a child. She's still, still doing the same thing as an adult. Does she get views from it? Yes. Is that her goal? Not necessarily. The goal is to get attention, to get people to think that she, uh, to feel sorry for her because she's in this situation. Or when she first got with Nader, she wanted people to think she was, you know, cool or she's hip or, you know, whatever. It's about attention, Nader. And to see if you knew anything about Chantel, you might know that, Nader. But no, in your mind, because that's how you are. That's how you feel. For you, it's all about the views and it's all about the money. Fair enough. But for Chantel, it's more than the views and it's more than money. It's about the attention. Let me tell you something about yourself, Nader, thinking you know something. Say yes when he's mad, say you know when he's no normal, back to normal head. If you ask somebody a question, say yes, next day say no, that's lies. It's all fake for views. I don't say, make anything fake for views. And if you don't like me to be live stream, I'm not going to be live stream. I will make my cooking video, that's it. Guys, I have to go. I will charge my phone. <laughs> How long do we got left, guys? I don't have all morning for this. Let me see. Um, mm, this is like 30 more minutes. <sighs> I don't know. I think that's going to be it for today. We'll just watch Nodder stream. Just because it's 9.30, I've got some things to do. There's going to be lots of other live streams that are covering this. Maybe tomorrow or later on today, if I have some time, we'll come back and watch Chantel's. But that was a lot to take in right there. And I think that we need to kind of understand what just happened with Nodder in that whole situation. What, stay? Make the time? All right, we'll watch a little bit of it, but I don't think I'm going to get through the whole thing. I'll try to put it on 1.5. I got, I can stay until like a little bit after 10, maybe, maybe, maybe 10. All right, hold on, whatever. The first live of the night, the second one will be in another video. Jesus, there's two more live streams to get through. It's Saturday for fuck's sakes. I know, but I got the kids today, so I can't stay on too long. Maybe until 10. Hi, I look like crap. My skin looks nice. I haven't washed it. Maybe that's why it's oily. Thank you. No, it's my new uh, face wash. My face looks slimmer. Well, um, my hair's so freaking greasy. I just haven't really been up to showering, honestly. Oh, I have a headache. Did you delete the previous stream? I have private it. Privated it, more or less. <laughs> I might unprivate my stream, I think. Actually, the reason I privated it was because I was there and he started watching it and I didn't want him to, so I, I just put it on private. <laughs> if I'm being honest, 100% honest, he was like, let's watch it together. What did you say about me? And I'm just like, no, let's not. I'm already feeling better. Like, I came home. Oh, and I, like, Amber Lee, that's exciting. Your first uh, flea market. I used to go to the flea market all the time. We quit going. It just seemed like they were starting to put a lot of the same stuff out, but I do like the flea market. I'll shut up. We're flipping out. They, I was under the impression that cats, you can leave them for hours on end. As long as they're fed and they have somebody here with them, they'll be okay. But Pete's reported that Sam only went in his room once to jump in his drawer and bees. And BBJ pretty much never goes. Hold on. Goes in his room. So... My cats love me more than anything. I know you guys are going to tease me for a while and be skeptical and be like, you're going to go back there tonight. And just things just were really good. But then since then, every time I have gone back, it's just been worse and worse for fighting. And I just like, I missed a therapy appointment because of, of him. And I'm just like, no, that I, I realized like, I just can't. I did go back to his house, Patsy. Yep. <clears throat> oh shit. I don't know. <laughs> I know my house is messy, but. <clears throat> And by the way, I want to point out that I think Chantel is broke, broke because she talks about in this video how she just threw together some stuff out of her refrigerator to make for dinner. Since when, Chantel, you're actually cooking. What did I miss? Hold on. Check those. Hey, 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 our lady Chantel of Perpetual Poutine. Get it together. They must be uh, pocket deleting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you, you okay over there? Did you fall asleep? Huh? What happened? Tinkerbell. 
Anyways, I think she's out of money. Good thing for her. She's only got a few days. A disaster. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to put all my spices over here. Maybe this way I can bring it out. I still have the boxes. I know we're lazy freaking okay. bastards. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just making a pasta dish and I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just like eating whatever we have, like basically. I really don't feel like eating out. I have my stomach's been eating whatever we have basically 12k a month oh i definitely think that she could have got that 12k do you understand do you not see that the way that Chantel spends money she's taking care of two households buying him clothes buying him groceries she could get 12k a month and blow through that absolutely but i don't think that's what she got this month like really weird so i'm gonna add i don't know just a bunch of crap first seasons flavor god italian crap cajun because why not garlic powder but i have lots of that because i didn't use fresh garlic so and uh this basil was smelling really nice Totally so fine. a pinch of basil and the pepper, salt and pepper. So I'm just going to fry that up. Just frying it up with some, uh, just like some onion. I have some spaghettini boiling with uh, Rude, almost ready. Chopped up chicken because, you. I don't know, I'm going to try to eat more chicken than it's ground beef gross. because it um, agrees with my stomach more, let's just say. Maybe the different kind of fat in it. I don't Nikki, know. I Balsamic vinegar. Add that. some pasta sauce. Prego gourmet. The money is on the 21st, yep. but it's like that. Yeah, 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 I'm going to cook for myself. Yeah. I'm going to let this cook. <laughs> <laughs> ground turkey, ground chicken actually. Foodie Beauty is ground chicken, ALR is ground turkey. Thank you very much. I'm so confused Chantal, I don't get this back and forth. How did you get out of the toxicity if you're with him all the time? Hmm? Wanderlust girl, thank you. Um, I don't really understand your question. So like you mean like I'm always with him. So yeah, like honestly, it's so chaotic all the time in my brain. Like I'm always just back and forth like with myself. I literally to the point where I'll be there and I'll have a different frame of mind and then I'll come back here and I'll be like, no, it needs to end. It's almost like when I'm there, I don't have time to process everything that's going on. And then till I get home and it's quiet and I'm just like, okay, what just happened? And then I think of everything and I'm like, no, this, this is fucking toxic. This is not good for me. Rewatch your lives. No, I can't. That's why I know it's not entertaining. I have a lot to process and none of that can happen until I'm like fully 100% out of the situation. Why does she have a stack of those things you get? Like if you go to bingo and order a, a thing of fries, why does she have a whole thing of those behind her head? That's the question I have right now. And it's not even like I'm doing this to be bad to him because I feel like he's gonna feel like I'm attacking him I'm trying to ruin him. To After the shit that he just said about you. Why do you care? Chantel, why do you care? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? Destroy his character What I'm trying I'm not trying like to do that. I'm just trying to be like 100% truthful with myself and the situation like and just stay away from it no i mean it's not that it's like it's hard for me to rewatch things that i've said or done in the past sometimes because it's just hard other people might like to watch it <laughs> doesn't mean you know what i mean so hard guys it's me and shut up so here's the pasta chicken's like look all at that up poor woman's plate you see that poor woman's plate <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you spend all your mo money on a man that doesn't even give a damn about you. Side? What? Who's going live? It's not true. What's not true? Ugh, this is going to be... That's what I mean. She hasn't even started to talk about it yet and Nader already labeled his live, st live stream. It's not true. What? Yeah, but you don't just happen to have fry boats in your house at all times? <laughs> it must be just me, huh? He was ready and prepared for this. He told her before she went live, if you go live, I'm going to tell everybody you're lying. They already, he, he already knew it was coming. See what I mean? You're going to go live and dig yourself a bigger hole because you don't want me to tell people why I really didn't fucking go to my therapy. I'm not worried. I'm just like, what? He's more worried about going live and fixing his reputation than taking accountability. I have trouble with accountability too, actually. But actually being a YouTuber has helped me. I don't think I even knew that term before I became a YouTuber, for real. What is he saying is not true. Like, I didn't even say anything. Exactly what that's why i think she was really at his house i think he was prepared to tell people because he probably assumed without even turning on her live stream that she got on there crying saying he wouldn't let me go home that's the only reason i think that she was really there that chair is made out of titanium i swear <laughs> i want a chair that strong 
that I haven't been- what's his thumbnail? That I haven't been at his house? No, I'm kidding. This is what I mean. This- this fucking breaks my heart that he actually has to do this. Like, I, I don't think I was bad- that bad. I actually tried to spare his feelings somewhat in my video. <sighs> I was there recently. I came home today after looking- <sighs> never mind. I don't know why I protect him. I just don't- I don't want any- I don't- I don't know. I came home today. Why would he say I'm not there? I don't get it. Like, it feels like he's trying to, like, forge some kind of, like, story. I don't know. Oh, my heart is pounding. He's mad because I was supposed to go back there today. I wanted to leave, so he was sleeping and I have to like sneak out or else it's a big fucking problem. Like I told you when he took my phone, well, this time it was my car keys or he hid them on me. So to prevent me from sneaking out. So it was like five, six in the morning I wanted to go. Like I didn't have my machine. I was like, I just want to freaking leave. So I went down, <laughs> like snuck downstairs and everything was ready. Like I had my charger and my purse ready to go and I couldn't find my fucking keys. And something told me to check before going to my car because I don't want to freaking go out there and be like, oh, in my car, ready to go. And you know, and I was mad, but I was like, okay, I'm just playing it up. I was mad because he didn't want me to do the therapy. Like he thought I was lying about the therapy or every time I have therapy, there's some fucking bullshit. I was like, I don't want to miss the therapy. I really need this. If you care about me. You he probably really doesn't want her to go to, to therapy because he's worried about his reputation with her damn therapist. That's why he wants to hear. Remember before when he told her he wanted her to stay at the house, why she had the therapy appointment? Because he wants to hear what she says and make sure that she's not bad, bad mouthing him. That's how crazy he is. We know Chantel is crazy, but so is he. He will let me go. I wanted to go for coffee and do my therapy in private and he really didn't want that. So we were arguing up until I said, it's almost three. Can you just let me go? And he was like, there's no question, blah, blah, blah. You said it was yesterday. You mixed up the day. It's not my fault. Honestly, I don't feel bad. I'm not fucking protecting you anymore. If you're going to go online and fucking lie about me like that. Oh, just talking it out loud just re makes me realize how fucking toxic it is. So I saw her calling and that was it. I didn't answer. And he made me tap. He made me message Pete's and be like, you tell Pete's right now. We don't want him in your life, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. And then I went and when I left. Why is this dude so worried about Pete? And did she do it? What did she just say? Hold on. Oh my lord. It makes me realize how fucking toxic it is. So I saw her calling and that was it. I didn't answer. And he made me tap. He made me message Pete and be like, you tell Pete right now. We don't want him in your life. Blah, blah, blah. So I did that. And then I went and. You did that, Chantel? You really texted him and told him that? When I left, I texted Pete's knew it was fake. I said, don't listen to it. It's not real. I met him. He was wow. Dude, that guy's nuts. Like Ch Chantel is crazy, but Chantel is not the where she's going to stab a bitch type of crazy. That dude is. That dude has some serious. Max, what you want, boy? He has some serious issues, and that's probably what landed his ass in jail the first time. The therapist will tell her to end this entire thing and cut all contact. He doesn't want Chantel to have anyone in her life that will speak against him. He's trying to control her and isolate her. Agreed 100%. If she goes back to this man, if she steps foot back in that house, she is legit. You don't know what's possibly going to happen. He's losing it. I'm telling you. It was in a really bad place, like just everything. And like even the video where I cut out the part of him talking to me bad, it was like hearing it while like, I was with him while we're like, it was playing. I was so like trying to like protect him from it. Like I tried to like protect him so much. I need to watch his live later because you know what? It's like, I don't even know this person when I watch him like that. So I missed my therapy. I went to leave and I was like, I was so mad. I was at the point of like, I'm going to break down. I wanted to go home and I couldn't find my keys. So I went upstairs and I kicked the bed. <laughs> I sat on the bed hard and was like, where's my keys? None of this happened. Wow. Like come up with like a plausible lie. I thought you were smarter than that. I don't know. So he was like, I don't know. I think he was, he was like, Sh shut the F up. And I was like, you're going to do this to me. You're going to take my keys. Really blah, blah, blah. And he's like, shut the F up. And then he's like, they're beside the fridge. They're beside the fridge, but they were in my purse before. So I got my keys now. And he's like, what time are you going to be back here? And I'm like, I don't know an exact time. I have so much freaking more peas here because it's like, I'm like, I don't know an exact time before dinner. And that was like, hey, friends, just go. it has to be like an actual time. And if it's not, if I'm not there, I fucked his whole day. The plans are ruined. I do always go back because I miss him. After a few hours, I miss him. I don't feel like a person with him. Like somebody said, I feel like a wallet. How in the hell do you miss somebody that makes you feel like a wallet and makes you text your best friend that you're not allowed to be friends with them anymore, Chantel? You sound like an idiot. Best time I've had doing laundry is these Saturday lives. Thank you for getting and keeping me on task. Nick in the Midwest, thank you so much and good luck and <laughs> have fun doing all your laundry. I was doing laundry too before I came live, just so you know. Mm -hmm. I have a load in the washer and a load in the dryer. We ain't gonna talk about how long they've been there, but I restarted this morning, okay? And a sex toy. Actually, more like a sex toy. I feel like I'm just seeing things so much differently. Like it just, it gets progressive. Uh, that's a lie. She went and see, that's Chantel's problem because the delusion, and this is where she throws in lies with the truth. I feel like that is an absolute lie that she's still worried about trying to look cool and desirable to some people. I do not believe that she feels more like a sex toy than she does a wallet.
no ma'am she's lying but i do always go back because i miss him after a few hours i miss him i don't feel like a person with him like somebody said i feel like a wallet and a sex toy actually more like a sex toy i feel like i'm just seeing things so much differently like it just it gets progressively worse guys he wasn't always like this or maybe he wasn't i didn't see it he said i'm jealous of monique <laughs> oh my god i gotta go watch this live monique if you're watching what the fuck what? no what i was jealous of was some really cute girl called him when i was there one time this is when the cheating to me cheating is okay tell me if this you would be mad at this oh first of all yes a lot of women call him this girl calls him it was pretty like innocent nothing much very short she didn't know i was there i'm like let me see the conversation so after a while he let me see it scroll very fast i'm like no no no. let me see there's like audio video chat video chat there's a fucking hot sexy picture of her and like i'm like are you fucking kidding me like no missy moo and he does like there's a lot of women like i have checked a lot and he will answer every time in front of me like he doesn't care he's not hiding anything but i think his truths are mixed with lies. he's it's not because he's not hiding anything chantel it's because you're not his girlfriend he doesn't care if you know that he's talking to other women this is what you need immediate inpatient care for, Chantel. He's literally talking to other women in front of you. Those are not his fans. He's flirting with them. If they were local, he'd be hooking up with them. You're so stupid. And yes, he did say, you've effed up any chance at a relationship with me. Oh, la-di-da. His mental health shaming. He always does. He doesn't get it. He doesn't. If he doesn't want me to go to therapy, he doesn't give a fuck about my mental health. That's what I realized. Like, you actually, I actually, like, said to him, I'm like, like, a moment for me of clarity was, like, when I looked at him and I was like, just say yes. Just tell me I can go. I'll be back in, like, 50 minutes. And he said, not gonna happen. And I was like, the fact that I have to ask permission to do something for my own self and my own health is fucking ridiculous. Why do I keep going there? Because I have feelings for him. And I really am in denial. Like, I really, 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 like, it's almost like I'm stupid. I need to, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I have no problem saying that now. I'll swallow my pride and be like, I'm a fucking idiot because almost like I'm just like, you know, that the whole scenario with the hamster, there's a cupcake like from the Simpsons and there's a buzzer, a zapper. <laughs> and every time you touch the cupcake, you're going to get an electric shock. Well, that's what happens. And every time I go, the voltage gets higher and eventually it's just going to burn my fucking hand off. And it's like, part of me wants to see how much burn I will take. And it's just like, not just that, not much how hey, burn hey. I will take, but how much I can tolerate to make it work with him so I can be with him. And for what? You know, like what? Uh, what am I getting? That's what I'm like, what am I getting out of this? And then I was watching breakup videos. One person said, that's when I said in my video, I want to go back to the person for comfort because it's like, because you're hurting because of them. You want to go back to them. To, you know what I mean? Chantel. Chantel, once again, this is why you need really serious help right now. You weren't never a couple. You just believed that you were. You made that all up in your head, dude. You're watching breakup videos, but they don't, they're not comparable to what you're going through. What you're going through is the fact that you can't accept that you try to pay for somebody to be in a relationship with you and they won't do it. Hey, DC. What did DC say? I feel like the needle came to the end of the record six months ago and we've been hearing the thump, thump noise over or ever since. Yes, agreed. Mm-mm-mm. I've spent so much time with this person and I've done so much for this person and they don't even realize that they don't even care They don't I don't know. He's making me seem desperate and clingy. I'm desperate and clingy. Mm, I call that pro projection Whenever he saw the mistake from the editing I'm laughing just because it honest honestly was a mistake But the it perfectly made him look like an ass LD he's complaining about how you don't shower enough Oh well <laughs> What do you want? You don't let me leave the bed enough to fucking shower. What do you do for him? Do you even think he would do half of it for you? Honestly, no should I go watch what? Should we go watch what he's saying? I'm not going. I'm not going. Look at me. I'm not going back. If I do, no, I'm not. I'm not. There's no if I do. I'm not. LD, I have a hard time believing. Yes, Kenzie is so close to 1K. Everyone, please go sub. Please sub Kenzie. She's the one that took the time to record and cut these long live streams out so they make them bearable. She's pinned up at the very top of the page underneath the poll, which I'm going to end now. Do you really think that Chantel was at Nodders? 81% say yes and 19% say no. Wow. 547 votes. I agree. I think she was there too. Imposters will say the video like you're trying to make it seem like get your mouth come on. Raining, you whine more about cheating than him beating you. It's like I said, it's got, no, I haven't been like held hostage every time. It's gotten worse and worse and worse to the point where the last couple of times, like first it was my phone, like taking my phone and like threatening me all night to delete my YouTube because that's what I would deserve for ruining his reputation online wow. and all this other shit. He called me fat. Just bad night. I don't want to talk about it because it probably is stuff that could get him in trouble, actually. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse, Chantel. What are you going to do when he really physically attacks you? What are you going to do? She wasn't like this with BB when they broke up. But it was a different scenario with BB. Like, she was ready to get out of that relationship. I think she was ready. She, wasn't even, she didn't even want to fight it when her and BB broke up. She was just over it. 
I think she wanted somebody to be on in her YouTube videos with her. So she was excited about moving in with Pete because Pete would, would agree to be in her YouTube and she wanted to move past the mukbangs and start doing vlogs and live streamings and stuff. And she wanted somebody to do that with her, which was Pete's. So she was giving up her relationship with BB. But I, at that time, Chantel even said they weren't even intimate for like a year or two before they broke up. So it really wasn't a loss to her where this is brand new. So yeah, she didn't act like that with BB because it was over. She didn't care. Even though he called it, he's the one that ended it. She didn't care. So by the time I was allowed to leave, I had calmed down and went home. And when I was away from him, I'm like, I think it is a big part of it. I like the attention too. What's wrong with you people? Hello. She really wants to be Nader's third stab victim so she can have the ultimate victimhood status. Fantastic. Sadly, you're a hundred percent right. Maybe not necessarily stab, but she, I, I believe that she wants that status because she's trying so hard now to have it and people won't let her have that title. To me, it'd be a domestic violence survivor. So yes, you're right. Thank you for the super chat. You're, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, this is so fake. It's almost payday. I realized like the type of person he is and the type of woman he wants. Like, okay, so you want to be my sub? You want to sign a contract, <laughs> a subcontract or some fucking shit? And I'm just like, the type of woman he wants is like, um, it's not me. I actually feel more, I, I feel like right he's so weekend. He is. He's very, very aggressive. Even just like whenever he found out about leaving the part in, like he jumped up and looked at me like, <laughs> and he was like, you happy? Do I feel bad for her, Luna? Not in the slightest. Nope, not at all. Because she all she has to do is stop going. There's, there's no ties. Get over your feelings for this guy. Don't tell me it's not that easy. It's not that simple just to not love somebody. Who loves somebody that treats them like this? That doesn't even make sense to me. I don't care if you think I'm crazy, but no. No, I do not feel bad for her. If she had kids, if she got in this relationship and this guy was the one financially supporting her and she couldn't get out, I'd feel sorry for her. But in her situation, she has control of the money. <laughs> she has her own place to stay. She has everything that she needs absolutely not i feel no sympathy or pity for chantelle none she's getting what she deserves you can't buy people nighter's teeth of mass destruction badussy agreed she's put herself in this situation she wanted to be the girl with the bad guy and then she wanted to be the girl they got hit on and pushed around by the dude like she's asked for all this you happy <laughs> like sorry i just i'm fucking glad i'm out there right now that's all i have to say ll your response when given ideas for resources of help is very telling. You have the chance, means, and support of hundreds of mortally if most abuse victims have no one. Please give real explanation. I talked to my therapist about that. I said a lot of people just don't have sympathy because I don't have um, any actual like house or any actual finance like attachments. That's actually not true. I think he's been dependent on me a lot and not just that. So it's like hard for me to just leave him stuck. So that makes it hard to leave. But then it's also hard. It, I also have like- a He's literally talking to other women, Chantel, rubbing it in your face. What is so hard about that? Because you're desperate. Because you know after Nodder, like you're going back in the dating bucket and you're not going to find anybody. You're going back to probably mukbangs and eating yourself to death that you've run your channel. And now once he's gone, nobody's going to fucking watch. What? What is your problem? How dare you? Emotional attachments. A lot of Good emotional boy. attachments to him that make it hard. It doesn't like invalidate. Of course it makes it. Of course like... A lot of people have it a lot worse, so that doesn't invalidate my situation. I would like go and like to the bathroom and like try to sneak with my purse and I had to crap. So I'm like, uh, he's gonna wake up. So I went to the bathroom. My purse was, was on the table in the middle of the hall and I went to grab it to leave and he grabbed my purse and shot it across the room. If you didn't tell your truth and you found out he did the same thing to other people. Yeah, no, I honestly feel like like having a YouTube channel in a lot of ways has saved me a lot of grief because it has like, it has opened my eyes a lot to a lot of things that you guys have said too. But also, even though at the time I probably didn't realize it. Um, Ophelia, I'm just going to deal with things like privately um, with regards to anything. I'm just, right now, I'm just, um, I just want to stay away. Ricardo, I think he knows over and won't, he won't have you back. So you're just going full scorched earth and trying to make yourself out to be a victim. I definitely did try to like protect him a lot. Like I still, there's things that I want to talk about publicly. I do in a way want to go full scorched earth and I'm not going to, but I do want to. He blames everybody else for things he's done. Like he gets mad if you point them out too. Like just for example, today he called me. I said I'd be there today between one and two. He calls me right at two. First at one, then I said I'm going to shower, but I got distracted doing things I need to fucking do. He calls me at two on messenger. Well, I just had a sh so I see you're not in the shower yet. Like, you know, I had a shower, so you're not in the shower yet. Sarah, he just said he'd never be friends with you, so it's his choice. Are you pretending you ended all contact? Oh, he said it's his choice? No. I pretty much, I have the text messages anyway. Um, so what was I saying? I'm like, well, sorry, I got distracted by something I had to do. And he's like, well, 
how come you didn't tell me about this thing that you had to do? You said two o'clock, you always change. I said, this is why when you asked me a specific time, I didn't want to tell you one because you get mad when I can't honor that. But me pointing that inconsistency out to him made him like angry, really, really, really angry. Honestly, just missed the, the good times. Like, like somebody commented on my video. It's like, or my therapist with the, the type of relationships I attach with people. The Chantel, but here's the thing. The only good times that y'all had were when you were doing stuff from him. I'm sure every time you take him to Adonis, it's probably a good time. Or when you take him to Old Navy and you get him a tracksuit, I'm sure it's a good time, right? But when you're out of money and you cannot financially do anything for him and the only thing that you can do is edit a video and you won't do that, I'm sure things are pretty rocky between you two, right? Am I right here, people? She's so desperate to be seen, not just as a victim in her delusions, but as though she is so desired that someone would control her and abuse her to keep her around. It's pathetic. Lisa White, absolutely 100%. <laughs> Francisco, how can anybody care when she's made fun of domestic violence before? I don't think, I don't think anybody gives a shit. The only people who were saying things to, uh, to um, Chantel, like telling her to go to a domestic violence shelter, they're just like her. They're delusional. They have no idea about reality. None. The damn tracksuit how I attach with people is like his his behavior is so inconsistent with me that when it's good I just keep looking for that did I leave stuff I left some clothes he was washing them because finally had a washer and dryer maybe I'll just go to Jamaica when did you hear that finally got a washer and dryer I can only imagine where he got that washer and dryer from so now that he has a washer and dryer when do you think the last time that Chantel washed any clothes was we don't see Chantel wash clothes anymore Chantel, you're so gross, dude. You don't even have any clean clothes to wear. I can imagine Chantel scrolling through her phone and eating snacks during her therapy appointments. Probably not giving a damn what she's saying. Winter's coming, even just for a week, you know? Yeah, I do see my aunt gay for Chantel. Also, today I said maybe we could just be friends. But you're right, like, be friends. What kind of friendship would that be? So I can edit your videos and shit? I said stay exactly. away. Stay away. <laughs> no problem. I left the Jafar ring there. <laughs> he hasn't been sleeping with me. Like, he's just flat out. I'm not, like, the, I haven't lied. Like, I haven't lied about anything I've said. And our storyline has all been true. But Well, she just admitted he hasn't been sleeping with her. Mm -mm -mm. Him, on the other hand, everything is, like, a lie. Like, a blatant lie. Like, are you kidding? You think people are going to believe you that you don't have sex with me when I go over there? <laughs> oh. You said once that you would never let a man control you, that you were uncontrollable. But he forced you to send a text to Pete. Find yourself again. I know, with him, I'm, I'm not myself with him. Like, I'm completely, like, submissive and, like, afraid and not the same. I mean, do you think you went back this time because he let you leave so easily when you went back for your sleep habits? Yes, just a sec. It wasn't actually that easy. But it was easier. Like, the hiding the phone and the keys and stuff, that's a new thing. The last time you've been gone, you were with him. Yep, I was... Because stuck. he's losing his mind because she, for once, will not do what he's asking, and that's to give up Pete's. He absolutely hates Pete's, and she won't give him up. So he's losing his shit. So yeah, the new thing about him hiding her keys and her cell phone, Chantel, that's a huge warning, honey. That's a huge warning. Don't run back to this guy who doesn't even want to be your friend to go record and edit a video because it ain't going to end well for you. At his house. Still like talking about getting another girlfriend. Oh, I don't fucking... You know what he said to me? Like, he's so gross. He tries to make me jealous. Like, let's go pick up another girl. Like, stupid shit. Like, uh, somebody I would not want to be with. I don't know why I fucking got caught up in this shit. I really honestly don't understand it. I do get jealous. I'm, I'm toxic too. I'm not saying I'm not. I have my own issues and that's very, very, very... Um, I'm a very jealous person. I don't... I get very... But I don't trust him at all because he is proven to be untrustworthy. Eventually you will be disgusted by Natter. <laughs> Already am. He hates Pete's because of her. That's true, Martina. And more and more, actually. After him making that big thing with the therapy, I was just like, you don't give a fuck about me. Like I was even too like afraid to ask what would happen if I tried to go. One time he said something that was scary, I'm not gonna say it on live, but he did throw my purse across the room when I wanted to go, grab my purse and leave. I can't deal with that anymore. It's like killing me. For my family and part of me, yeah, I think I do avoid them. I have been avoiding them because I'm not in a good place and they're worried about me. And they're gonna uh, get... Which means she didn't go to her mom's for her birthday. With a lot of my choices. So it's like to go there and pretend to be happy. You know, he didn't want me to, like, he didn't want me to go home. Like, he wanted me to stay there with him. I didn't want to go live while I was there. Because I was in a really bad mood. I'm like, you want me to go live and, like, be upset that you made me, like, I missed my therapy? Like, that was a big thing for me. It was even, like, a therapy session that, like, my aunt was paying for. Not because I don't have the money, but because she just wanted to do that as a gift for me. She said, I know you've been through a lot, and I think it's really good for you. Gosh, she's done rent her uncle from speaking to her. Now she's going to do the same thing with the aunt. Her aunt is actually paying for this shit. There's something juicy coming up for you. I'm going to let it play.
to have an extra therapy session and I want to pay for it. So she did and I made the appointment and luckily the therapist is really awesome. I explained what happened. Thank you, Tickerbell. I appreciate you. Love you too. And she said that I can reschedule and she won't charge me. So I see that now, Alex, that he's trying to isolate me. Like I was hoping that he would change and it wouldn't be a big deal for me to like go home. And that's why I've been feeling so stressed just because like I have to like with him have the time my fucking every minute and I don't, I can't do that. So when I don't, he gets mad and like it causes fights. YouTube there's just nothing really positive about the relationship anymore at this point. Like, there's just nothing. He's right. There's no relationship. There never will be. I think what it is, too, like, when we go on vacation or we party together, it's a lot of fun. He wants a submissive. You're not, it says. I'm not. Is that his necklace or yours? It's mine. It was my grandma's. He just said, love you to someone on the chat. <laughs> Probably his family. I think for me was the first, like, the phone. Okay. And then I just thought, okay, well, I, I, be I believe that he had, like, reason to treat me that way. Like, <laughs> where Sam slash your mom, Adrian, she's at work. Thank you for the super chat, but she's listening. Hey, Heather. Like, I talked a lot of shit about him. Obviously, he's going to be mad and he has a, he's, he's right in a way. I'm like, and I even thought it was kind of clever. Oh, he's going to threaten to delete my YouTube because that's what I deserve because I fucked him over on, online. I'm a real man. He obviously so talks. Is she really, is she really going to be okay with giving up her YouTube for this guy? Is she serious right now? How would you financially support him, Chantel? to so many other women like i'm not surprised if you delete your youtube you can delete your channel and there ain't no coming back from that all it takes is one click of a button and it can be gone poof forever and ain't no coming back chantel oh boy i hope he doesn't have access is how you want to be treated oh none of those devices that are at his house are logged in to your account because if he deletes your channel you cannot come back from that relationship i don't want to be like feel like i'm a person like, I want to feel, I don't want to feel like a ghost. I have to fart. On. <laughs> I don't want to go watch him because then I'll probably. Believable. Unbelievable. You guys said she goes see her mom to visit one-on-one. -on -one. So 100% she wasn't at the birthday party. Uh, great. Hold on. And guys. <laughs> Just hold on. To be treated in a relationship. I'm a real man. Like, feel like I'm a person. Like, I want to feel, I don't want to feel like a ghost. I have to fart. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Happy Thanksgiving, Kenzie. Thank you so much. Guys, we really got to end it here. I, my kids are up now. We got to have breakfast. We got to do the whole thing. I've got a grocery shop for Thanksgiving. Y'all got shit to do. I think DC's going live at 11. We got Kenzie watching to keep up so we don't miss anything. There's going to be other reactors going live. It's going to be a whole thing. Okay, guys? Love you guys. Have a good day. Maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow. If not, I'll definitely see y'all Monday. Bye, guys.